up people welcome to our channel emmy nikki this is the real villain and we're back with another love is blind season review because they're still doing it yeah i don't know why they're why are they still doing the show have we not proven that love is not blind yeah but i feel like this season the producers were like we need to show them the messy things like so drama. they wanted drama more than they wanted people to find love this season that's my opinion because that because how love is blind season six this is so this is six times <laughs> six times in the u.s because let's not forget that they started oh, this shit in other countries. franchises okay. that is true that is true they, and then i just saw that they're doing the habibi version oh soon my, oh soon to God. come on Netflix. you're lying i promise you i'm tuned in <laughs> i'm lying <laughs> <laughs> no, they're doing this everywhere and I'm like, why are you doing this to multiple countries? <sighs> because, mm. listen, capitalism. Like, we've established that something makes money and people are like, duplicate, but, multiply. But can we also remind the people of who is producing this show? Who? Isn't it Nick and Vanessa Lachey? Do they produce it? Do or they produce it or do they, they, they badly host it? Lord, please. Shout out to the people on Netflix again. Shout out to delicious. Um, the I hope y'all give. I hope y'all gave them some like media training a little bit, just so they could do better with the interviews and not be as cute as they were before. Cause it wasn't. We'll see at the reunion, guys. We're gonna do another video for the reunion as well next you. week, so that's gonna be interesting. But let's just jump right into the season. Who do you want to start with? <sighs> Because we're starting with the pods for Yeah, sure. we're going to, we're, we're looking at the pods. The pods were draining this year. So long. So long. So long. We, they made us endure this. But let's start with the boring people, right? Real quick. <laughs> the boring people? I mean, this is they what she, she has in her notes, guys. Boring. In all caps. In all caps. So we saw, <laughs> we saw them briefly, Johnny and Amy. I don't remember their pod story, guys. Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to be very honest. We're doing a season review. Y'all have seen... Some other people do episode by episode. Y'all should know some of this by now, okay? I'm gonna give you the cliff notes. I may, I may just start doing the episodes just on my stories on Instagram because that'd be true. Yeah, I feel you. Same. Like I don't, I do, I do not remember what they were talking about in the past. They were cute, real quick. Oh my god, wanna marry me? Yep, married. Okay, no, not married. But um, what was it? Engaged. I feel like this is how you know they didn't talk about um sad. That we don't remember their pods that much. Well, I mean, I, I feel like some people online may may remember because maybe they. I do remember they talked about. Um, they were my mom's from Barcelona. Um, she was telling. That was cute. She was telling her, you know, I guess so. He knew that she's like, and he was like, I love your accent. I was like, what accent does she have? Because it's barely there. But I was like, okay, sir. Um. So I mean, they're cute. They're they just. They're, Johnny and Amy blend. were in their own little world this season. So they didn't have any drama. They got engaged pretty quickly. Then we go to another couple I don't remember much about. That's, what, that's how I'm going to do it. People I don't remember much about. Two, two of the ones I remember the most. <laughs> Laura and Jeremy with an A. Um, no facts because... No, I remember. I remember something. Okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> So Laura and Jeremy started talking, but somebody else was talking to Jeremy as well. Yeah, there was two which was Sarah Ann. Sarah Ann. Sarah Ann. Sarah Ann was talking to Jeremy at that point, and I remember this one time where, um, you know, I guess they were having nice conversations, and Sarah Ann came and she said, she said to the other ladies, you know how they, you know, they gathered yeah, and they talk, and yeah. she was just like, yeah, da da da, talking about, you know, her pleasant interaction with Jeremy, and I remember Laura being like looking at her like. And basically going to another girl, like, I'm not going to say, like, yeah, well, pretty much, like, I'm not going to talk about what it is that what we talk about because yeah. I'm sure of what I have and da-da-da. But what happened like, Sarah Ann was mostly the one talking and Laura had not said who she was talking exactly. to. Exactly. And I was just like, mm, I'm not going to like this girl. And I was right. Speaking of Laura. Yep. Okay. At, I that, was, point, I didn't hate at that point, it's like I saw and I was like, oh, you're playing games. I'm going to tell y'all exactly the mm -hmm. moment when mm -hmm. she got on my nerves. And it involves Jessica, but we're going to get to okay. that. Um, so basically, Jeremy was a little bit, you know, in between the two of them. But he ends up obviously proposing to Laura. Um, yeah. Sarah Ann, however, there was it was weird because he did. It was like it was almost like he wasn't sure. Like, it was almost like he was. It wasn't It sure. could have been anybody. He <laughs> really wasn't sure. It was like, ah, I guess Laura. So and I now, feel like the way Laura was talking to demanded more. 
of it's, it's, it's just yeah, that you it's more, yes, yeah, in you. the pods it's like there's a moment where if somebody's hesitating it's like let me apply pressure yeah. now because yeah. you may not because it's like put up need... or shut up exactly yeah. Yeah. so I, I feel like she put, she was just like but so laura was upset. also very like i could even tell she's very abrasive laura needs therapy as well in my opinion but we all get miss laura um mm-hmm. but yeah jeremy with an a got proposed he oh, let me not say that we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. <laughs> <laughs> the next couple that we had we had a um very interesting pairing with kenneth and Brittany, and they are so the, what was interesting about it is they're interracial but they connected over religion first you and know? they were actually adorable in the pods i remember watching them and i was like Oh wow, they are like you know. It makes sense the way their their faces like li- used to light up when they were talking to each other and some of the things they were mentioning. And I was just like, this seems like mm-hmm. it's going to be interesting. Really, I didn't know how that would work in the real world. I was just saying based on what they were talking about, it was cute. In the pods, I found them cute-ish, cute-ish, yeah. cute adjacent. Um, but I. Kn- for some reason, everybody was saying, like, you know, we've, we'd be following Twitter, I'm never calling it X, um, while the show is going on. Mm-hmm. And people were like, oh my god, they're so cute, I love them, I can't wait to see what happens. Um, and it was like, cute where? I, I'm sorry, like, it was, like, for me it was cute adjacent. I, I was like, my thing was, I don't know that these people will be attracted to each other. I don't care what y'all say, mm-hmm. love is not blind. And I was looking at it like, it's not even the race thing. He's a black man. She's she's a white woman. It wasn't that he identifies as black, according to her. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest thing. I was like, ever. oh my god, what, what are you talking about, man? He, oh she's, anyways, god. but and then she said it again when she was talking about eighty. So I'm jumping, but when she said eighty identifies as a black woman, and I was just like, ma'am, do we need to explain to you what I identify? <laughs> as means like do we i was very confused but okay but all right Brittany. she's a cute girl she's a very pretty girl i just didn't know like they were cute for me they were really he cute. mentioned in the pause like you know like he's used to dating black women and then she, she said she didn't care about race of but course. she's had this trouble of a course. lot while they while dating because clearly she has dated black men before so she said that she always gets that, you know, the prejudice and the looks and da da da. So she knew what she was gonna face. However, they do end up, despite all their their connection was very strong, and they had great conversations. That's what I liked about them. And the way at the time, the way Kenneth was communicating, they were cute. I was I'm like, this guy is cute. mature for twenty five. I was like, wow, like he's. I didn't think about all of that. I didn't even. For me, it was just like. Oh, the com- they can have conversations. It's nice. Cause you can- My thing is, you have nothing to do. No phone, no tea, nothing to do, you can do for talk. hours. I'm gonna talk. At some point, I'm gonna talk. Okay? Even if you're not interesting, I'm gonna find a way so, yeah, to talk. I feel you. So I was just like, you know, they were cute or whatever. Compared to some other people, like literally, we just mentioned Amy and Johnny, and I feel like they were. I remember Kenneth more, not because he's a black man, but just because they. No, just I remember that there was more interaction. Cute. And um, the questions, the the t- for me, it was definitely like, I, I noticed that they were two of the youngest people there, but they were having the most they were really substance they were really in young. their conversation. I was like, wow, so, you know, age is really nothing, but a number, Very not R. Kelly type, but like, wow. no, like not that, you know, but sometimes, you know, y'all know what I'm saying. But they got engaged. Moving on. Now we're going to love triangles. Squares, love, whatever. <laughs> 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 Let's do Clay, oh, AD, okay. okay, and Matthew, and Matthew. Was, was that really? Else? Was that no? Was that really a triangle? It was a. It was a. It was a triangle for a period. True. I think AD. Here's my thing. The way AD. I was like AD. If you choose that, I was like if you choose Clay for a while. I was like don't be choosing Clay. I was gonna choose. I honestly, okay. I was like don't be choosing Clay. You, see, you saw how I talked to you. You saw. I was like, but anyways, let's yeah, let's chat. Yeah, yeah. So AD and Clay. Uh huh. You know they look. Let me just say, they look together. They, they look, look good. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sure. We, I mean, this is the only and thing she, they mentioned all season. She okay? got body, body. She body, got body. body, body okay. Body. But here's the thing. So I guess they started talking in the pods, and I get they con- they connected over some sh- some things, and he opened up to her a little bit, which I think he was surprised. But in my honest opinion, yeah. I feel like he was really surprised to actually once they got past that surface yeah. stuff, and then he actually got deep. Right? He was like, whoa, like 
you know, they, this, this, he was quoting Bible verses and stuff. Like, he was, like, really saying, like, I got this trauma here. Yep. And I know I'm, I I talked to you a certain way. And I'm, I'm seeing that. But I'm, like, I want to be, like, a better person person for you. So, you know. Yeah, that was, in, for me, that was, that was what was interesting about him is that same as her. I was, like, he probably got more to give. But I don't know if he can get there yet. I was, like, I don't know if you're. And then. Basically, she was just like, she's interested by somebody else and he's not going where she's trying to go. But wait, so let's, not, let's tell him about Matt, the other okay. person first. Because Matthew is, she's, is the other person she's interested in. Matthew goes into the pods, if you haven't seen this. Matthew goes into the pods with a notebook, okay? He got 15 questions. Pick a number. Pick a number. And don't ask him the, uh, the question back. <laughs> do not. Do not. <laughs> not, do not. He's the one asking. He's <laughs> interviewing you. What, what do you mean? I'm asking the question. What do you mean conversation? And don't don't you dare pick the number that the last girl chose. Because I just I that's just, like how we've done that question. Let's already. let's give another one. Um, so Matthew. <laughs> Matthew, I was confused. I was like, I've never seen a person like this. All of his blind. So I was like, I was like, this would be the start of a of a TV show <laughs> about somebody that's like. You know, like, er, er, yeah, like, serial killer like, vibes. Oh my God. Come on, let's not lie. It was given serial killer vibes. Like, he was in the pods. Like, they would ask, like, I remember at one point he left his math, his his notebook somewhere, and they were like, Matt, like, you know, your notebook. He's like, thanks. I was like, he, he wasn't interacting with nobody. He was like, in, he was, he was weird, bro. But apparently, he deconnected with. Let me know. Yeah, Their conversations, that. I thought, the way she approached it, I was like, yeah. She, she kind of surprised him. Because he was getting similar answers from her, and he, she piqued his interest. Um, and I thought, you know, y'all come for me. I thought it was kind of fine. Um, who said he looked like Clark Kent, but like in a little slightly different way? But yeah, like, he definitely does I mean, Clark Kent. Energy. He's not ugly. He's I don't like him. He's not ugly. He just the vibe he was giving off with his little list of questions and the no, he it was might, just very like mm. stare at you in your sleep and then just decide to kill you like. Like just because, like <laughs> oh my God. for me, it wasn't serial killer vibe. You know those those shows where like there's a guy is a specialist in something, and the police only consult him on certain special cases because he's so like he can find anything. This is the vibe. Yeah, those people are usual killers. Um, you see, I do not. So here's the opinion of Nikki. I don't agree with that. I'm just saying because y'all not gonna tell me that man does have a few buddies wow. in the back there. Wow. <laughs> But either way, AD thought he was kind of cute. But then, what what turned her off? He he did some a little. I forgot. I forgot. But he was just like she was like, oh, screw screw screw. I almost effed up with that. Like you were a little too much for me. Um. Oh, I know. What was it? I remember. Okay. Backtracking. <laughs> so I think it was a sorry again a conversation with the ladies where pretty much AD was saying to one of the ladies, hey, here's what he told me, da 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 And then it turns out that there's another girl he was talking to, and she actually repeated the same thing. So he was to telling, Amber. to Amber, he was telling the same thing verbatim to this other girl, and AD was just like, hold on, this is a, yeah, the same like, thing? You're playing no. me, bro, like, stop, you stop it. Yeah. And I think that's when she went back to Clay, because she was like, I want to see if there's more. Because for, for a minute, she was like, yeah, I'm not, she was I'm not dealing with Clay. Because exactly. Clay was very immature, yep. and Clay told her um, that he needed to know what she looked like before he could pick her. So And and also, here's my thing. That was stupid, Clay. Because my... No, was it? Yes, it was. No, I know, but was it based on the other couple that talked about what they no, but like? it, No, that's what I'm going to say, because we know somebody in there that straight up lied about what she looked like. So it's like, she could have just said, even if there's no way to show you. So unless she's, she just has to describe herself. So anybody's going to describe themselves like, yeah, I got a pretty face, thick thighs, you know, this tall, flat stomach. Like what? They're going to describe themselves perfectly. And then you're going to see and you're like, oh, maybe not exactly like that. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. So it's like, Clay, you're here. Just, you're here for a, a good time, not a long time. You know, just I mean, we chill. from 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 this moment, I was like, yeah, this man not here to to find a wife, which I mean, it's fine. We we were entertained for a little bit, um, but yeah, it was just. I do think he learned about himself. I think he thought he came on like from what you said, like yeah, um, cloud and stuff. But then he realized, oh, there have some stuff here. Yeah, yeah, he did. He, I feel like deep down, he wants to do something about the things that he has to work on. But I feel like maybe he didn't know how to go about it, and this was probably putting him in an environment where you had to face certain things. 
Right. But yeah, definitely social media. We know that. So, um, but yeah, Clay and AD, bro. So she goes. So after she tells Matthew bye, she goes back to Clay, and Clay has. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta talk about this funny part where basically she tells Clay that she has like another connection with somebody else, and he goes like, "Who?" Like, first of all, he also wore a really butthurt. I was like, "Okay," like. But also the way he talked to her, I was just like. I was like, if this was real life, like, don't talk, don't talk to Do me. Do not. I was just like, red flag. Like, to, ooh, the, the way he was like, like red flag in her face. But anyway, so she's like, yeah, I'm talking to Matthew. He was like, who's Matthew? <laughs> I was like, I'm like, not there in the, the freaking pause together. He was like, he was like, oh, oh, what? He was so hurt when he was talking to the, the boys. He was like, the fact that she hesitating between me and him. It was just like, she was like, he was like, how do y'all have a connection? Because this guy doesn't, because he's in there living with him. And he's like, um, okay. But I was like, well, he's actually speaking to her and he's not speaking to y'all. So there's that. But he was truly perplexed. Like, Clay was like, I think we were all perplexed for a little bit. Like, I, well, me seeing her talking to Matthew, I wasn't confused why they had a connection. I think she was just trying to try something different. No, um, I just feel like... I just feel like... It's not even about something different. I feel like, yeah, she was just like, hey, we can actually have a conversation and this is actually cool because that's all there's... Again, that's all there's to do and, like, they can have a conversation and when you compare it to Claire where it's like, I want to I wanna know what you look like. Like, physical... Like, physicality is very important. I don't know how many times he mentioned, like, being physical and body and stuff during this whole show. I wish I received money every time he did. I have daddy issues. My daddy shit on my mom. Daddy issues. Daddy issues. Daddy issues. Those two things. Bodies and that. It's just... So, yeah. Okay. Oh, Clay. AD. All day. I was... If you... I feel like... So, there's people that annoyed me throughout life. Okay? And in shows. But I feel like them being like, AD and Clay. Oh, I really... <sighs> I don't have words. The amount of times he said it all day. AD. The amount of times he said that. I was like, you can tell he plays sports. And I mean that in no offensive way. No, he was no. Like, AD. I'm like, okay. But I mean, I were talking, like, we were talking, like, behind the scenes or somewhere. We were like, yo, like, it's something about, like, their voices that seems so inauthentic. Both Claire and AD. It's like, why do y'all speak like this? For a while, while I was watching them in the pods, I was like, do you think they may know each other? And or they were like, they figured out that they could do this little thing to be famous on social media. Because we knew when I saw them, I knew from jump, if these people became a couple, they would gain so many followers. Yeah, because they look good. They, they look good. They would have been great. Black yeah. love narrative. Black love. You just know. great. Entrepreneurs, both of awesome. them. Yes. You know, yeah, that would have been people. good. Yeah. Mm. But... Yeah. No, yeah, that's, the, I mean, well, we'll get there, but that's not what happened. But he proposes to AD with a Bible verse and, you know, they're engaged. When they saw each other, this man. people interpreted this differently, right? Now, I'm seeing that he was a little bit taken aback. I think AD is a very beautiful girl. Yep. I think Clay, at first... But the lashes in it. He would, oof. I'm sorry. The, the lashes, lashes and the leave out. Oh, and, my God. And, you know, you have to, enlist, if you're not going to permit, then you do a full head. Um, but that's just my no, no, because because that's yes, that's just my opinion. Yeah, uh, but see, what's, her? what's what's his name, Clay? So when he sees her, right, his reaction, I I couldn't, I can't. First of all, his face, I, I need, know. I need to see, I need to see it. Again. You need to see, yeah, you need to see it again. Yeah. I mean, go ahead. I mean, you could, but as I talk, but the thing is, like, I was just thinking, okay, he's just trying to take it all in. Um, I. I didn't know what to take. Maybe there's so many things that could be going through his head, right? She seemed like, okay, like, wow, okay, he's tall. That That's literally the face I make when I'm like, oh, he's tall. So I just, like, I, I don't know if she thought immediately he was attractive yet, but I know that her face said, oh, he's tall. Because that's the face I make when I see a tall man. And then they sit down and she gets up and does, like, a body twirl or, you know, shows him the body body. And Clay was like, oh, you know, like you know how when the 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 raccoon, what's that? The, the the eyes come out like he was like, my goodness, that's a because AD. If she ain't got nothing else, that girl got body. Oh, her body is it's not, insane. It's insane. Um, the and, amount of time she must spend in the gym. I just need her routine. Mm. Um, and all and her genetics. and her thighs. I love her. Th like whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot. Oh. <laughs> but but uh, I mean, she has nice thighs. And then. That's when it, uh, Clay was like, oh, you're, you're so beautiful. Like he said, I think he said you were gorgeous and not beautiful. Because people were like, did he compliment her looks? 
because they were analyzing that whole thing. And you know, that's basically that for that meeting. I'm trying to I'm, 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 I'm re-watching this and all I see is him looking at her booty because I mean I was looking to listen. Everybody was hey. looking at her booty. I'm just uh, insane. 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 And he was, I feel like this man was fighting to like look at her in the eyes. He was <laughs> fighting. He was like, no. Cause I'm trying to also just because we didn't I didn't talk about the other reactions. I don't remember Laura and Jeremy. I honestly thought though, I remember thinking, I don't think Laura will be attracted to him. But I guess she was. Lauren Jeremy was very awkward. Um, I think she was attracted to him, though. But he cleaned up. Like, my thing is, the way I was looking at him in the confessionals, but when he showed up to the meeting, I was like, he looks better than in the confessionals. Maybe it's the lighting. It the is. confessional lighting is very, like, mellow and, like, very loungy. Yeah. Vibe. And then, me, it was really... Um, Ken- I don't I remember the reveal. reveal. Really they were very happy and giddy. It was giving, okay. Here's why I said I found them cute in the pods. Is I feel like they were giving young teenager type vibe love. You know when you're like super like, oh my god, giddy, this yeah. is so cute and giddy and happy and bubbly. Like we have so much in common. Exactly. Yeah. Like this is the vibe. Oh my god, we both love God. Let's be Let's love couple. him together. Um, okay, and then the last triangle square in the pods dun, dun, dun. that we had was Chelsea Jimmy. And Jessica Trevor. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. What a waste. So real quick, Chelsea is dating Jimmy and Trevor. Jimmy is dating Chelsea and Jessica. So who do we start with? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with Jessica first because I wanna Ooh, I, I wanna Jessica. I wanna finish with like her. Jessica was I mean, Jessica is a gorgeous, beautiful. gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful woman. She has a 10-year-old. She has a 10-year-old. She's uh, 28, she, so she had her at 18. Yeah, she doesn't seem to, like, the way she was talking, she didn't seem like she was looking for somebody to be a father to no. her child. She was just like, I'm here for I'm, but I'm, a I'm here for me. Yeah, we never mother. had, um, I think on Love is Blind, somebody with a child. And especially that old. I don't remember. Because they, they said Jessica was the first one. I don't know. And she was like... She liked Jimmy so much, and she was so afraid to tell him about she her child. She liked way too much. Oh yeah, about her child, she was so afraid because she was like, "What if he doesn't?" You know, I know that that could be a deal breaker for a lot of men. So, what if he's not into that? So she, she waited till they had a she connection. did she did wait, and then she went ahead and told him, which we saw on his face that this man was like, "Oh wow, he was like, oh jeez," you know. Uh, but he was trying to reassure her and be like, "Yeah, I just want you to know, like, it's not." Changing the way I feel and things like that, which but it did lies, but it did lies. lies. She felt it, like you could. She saw it, and because yeah, she saw it, she felt it. You could see it on his face. Yeah, it's like maybe he was he's that type of guy that wanted to, you know, start a family with something like be the first. Like you know how some people they want. Also, a ten year old is not like a small child. It's like it's a you already have kid. kid, you're, You're. Built, yeah, pretty much. You're so, no, like you're, you're, you I'm have your, like you have your personality. There's some, th- th- you know. Yeah, yeah. So you're, you're truly her stepdad. You're not. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's it was that one thing, but like Jessica and Jimmy, their connection was very beautiful in the yes. pods. It was beautiful to see. The conversation was easy, was what flowing. She, she said it was a letter. letter. Oh my god, that letter was the cutest thing ever. Okay. It was she. She kept saying like it's very electric between us. Like I can already feel it through the wall, so I can only imagine in real life. He agreed to. There was a lot of tension. Uh, it was a lot of sexual, sexual tension. tension. But outside of that, the conversations were pretty were great really too. Yeah, I like their vibe. I truly like their vibe. What they show so much. She she mm. sent him. Um, she gave him a letter that she had written for her future husband, Mm-mm-mm. and he read it. And, and well, 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 we'll get to what he did after he read it, but. Once he, she told him about the child and he oh. had the reaction he went, he did. Uh, she left and she was crying because she's like, ah, I don't know how, he, you know. And then he goes to talk to his other connection, which is Chelsea. And Chelsea got a bomb for him too. Chelsea's saying, boom, boom, I am divorced. And he's like, what? Like, I'm just like, What is this on this show? <laughs> I'm getting a lot of like, so he's like, but, and she, his reaction, he kind of like was quiet for a bit and she's like, oh, like you're upset or something? She's like, He's like, no, like, he, I mean, you, you wouldn't even imagine the news I just got was worse than this type of thing, is what he said. Yeah. So he, was, so he was definitely more upset about the child and the divorce, but he was still like, oh, okay, so, all right, divorce, kid, cool. Chelsea, of course, we know she's a crier. Um, she left crying, she's like, she's like, I don't know, like, I told him about my divorce, and, like, like, I don't know, he's acting weird of this stuff so i guess because we're on chelsea might as well talk about her outside of you know being a crier who is she 
push he well in the pods at least in the pods i don't want to let the rest of the thing taste yeah. whatever it is that um but pretty much chelsea in the pods she is a woman that decided to for some reason mention the fact that she gets actually no let me let me let me right. say this yeah. she did not say i look like so and so Oh, what she did give was a scenario, please. So she's she's in the pod with um Jimmy and she's like, oh my god, did somebody ever tell you you look like a celebrity? <laughs> I'm sorry for the voice, y'all. <laughs> sir. I'm sorry for the voice, y'all. And he goes, No, why? What about you? And she's like, Yeah, all the time at airports and in the plane and whatever. And he's like, who? And she's like, who's MJK's wife or girlfriend? Like, girl, you know, you, you know, know you know. Us. So this man is like Hold on, two and two is four. He's so like, Mega Fox? He said, yo, the, the, the Glee and Jenny Fink was like, Mega Fox? <laughs> Mega Fox? And she was like, it's just because I'm a brunette with blue eyes. They just and kind of looked like her. And like, this man, after he realized it was Megan Fox, he didn't hear nothing that he said, said after. You just heard Chelsea looks like Megan Fox. That's, that's all he heard. That's all he heard. And I was like, girl, you knew exactly what you were doing because nobody's dumb enough to just like put this out there like just like that. You did this on purpose because you wanted this man to choose you because you knew the competition was Jessica and Jessica is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Okay? And so she's, she's gorgeous. She secured, she secured the W right then, then and there. Yeah, that, that was it. Because when Jimmy was hemming and hawing, trying to choose between the two, all he saw was, all he said was, all he saw was Megan Fox, though. But Megan Fox. Like, it was like, and when he goes to let Jessica down, mm-hmm. and t- he tells uh, Chelsea, uh, Chelsea that he loves her. That's, that's one. Um, she goes back to the pods. I guess she, I guess Chelsea told somebody, uh, she told Laura. And here's where Laura pissed me off. So, Jessica is sitting over there in the corner. Mm-hmm. Chelsea tells Laura. Laura immediately gets up. It's like, babe, you gotta go home, babe. Pack your stuff, get home. Like, what? What? I was like, well, what's happening? Tell me. He's like, no, no, I'm not gonna tell you, but trust me, trust me, go home. Ma'am, ma'am, to, ma'am. To, listen to me. Do you know that people, some people online about Laura? They like literally, they were like Laura, because we're gonna talk about her situation after, but a lot of people were saying, Laura. I feel like some of the things that you did and some of the things that you got is because you were acting a certain way towards certain people. And I was like, ooh, ooh, well, listen. Cause because that time people would be like, might say, oh, like she's a girl's girl type of thing. Mm-mm. No, that's like you're in my business. You're far in my business at this point. That was a lot of Jimmy gonna talk to me when he gonna talk to me. Chelsea first of all, Chelsea talked too much. Why you come in and tell this girl he said I love you? So, so, uh, hush. Hush! You don't know. Let's be real. Y'all be forming these connections in the pods with, with the other castmates, but y'all are not friends. Y'all don't know each other. Let's be real. You don't know her. Like I she, am so glad you said that because I have something about that. Y'all told you about this for this yeah, kind of situation. Yeah, so. we're gonna talk about that. Just keep yourself to yourself. I mean, not Matthew levels because that was a little weird. <laughs> but definitely, like. Yeah, you know, like, keep some stuff to yourself. But she goes and and Jessica, like you're not telling her, but you're telling her, you're forcing her to go home. So of course she's gonna think like, okay, something bad is happening. You're like, go home, go home. So Jessica obviously immediately starts crying, and she's like, I can't believe I fell for this, all of these things. And then we see that she has a a meet up with Jimmy. Mm-hmm. Jimmy tells her at this point, like you know, she he admits that yes, he did tell another woman that he loved her. Um, what she told him also that was beautiful the way she was like you are going to choke choke <laughs> when you see me which he did he did he, she said you gonna need an epic pin child it's gonna be bad yep. it's gonna be bad because i am bad yup that's yeah yeah and and, and and pretty much he chose chelsea and i mean we all know that that was the worst thing you could have done so but outside of that i just want to talk about how chelsea like interacted with trevor this whole time because chelsea was talking to trevor right so she was talking to trevor trevor is she was the last one to have a choice to make exactly trevor is like big tall and muscular she don't know that but you know but he's vibing his his little thing first he always says he did this because people always judge him on his His muscles and stuff they think he's like a douche so he wanted to get known for his personality which i mean we've seen the things on social media trevor so Hmm okay well, but at least in the parts pretty much it was just their connection was nice i like them when i feel like he was sweet. calming her like she she didn't seem anxious he validated her exactly with, which is like what jimmy didn't do and i'm like 
I was so confused as well. Okay, well, no, I'm not so because confused. Chelsea's insecure she and she has she she wanted to win. She wanted to win over a girl who she believes is, is prettier, prettier than, her. than her. So she's like, if I beat her, then like it somehow makes me better. And that's but the way she fell to on the floor when Jimmy was like, "I love you." And she fell. There's this woman on on TikTok that does um, that analyzes like what your body does reaction, in reaction yeah. in reaction to things. And I'm, I'm I don't know the science behind it, and I, I cannot verify this information. But she was just saying if you see Chelsea's reaction, her body's literally telling her this is this is not it. Like you're hyperventilating. Like she was not good. like her whole body was shutting down. And it's like you didn't have you were perfectly good with Trevor because it looked like she didn't even want to. Like she I know she said it back, but it was like. No, I feel like she would have said it to the first. If Trevor had proposed first, I think she would have chose Trevor. I mean, yeah, Trevor I'm just not just saying. Later, but yeah, like we think we both. I think they both chose wrong. Eventually, she wrong. chose. She should have been with Trevor, and he should have been with what's her name, um, Jessica. Jessica. Now that's the last of the couples to get engaged, and then we go. No, to can we talk about just real quick? Oh, sorry. The reveal between those two. Oh, Chelsea and Jimmy. Yo, he, was, he was like, "Where's Megan?" Where is she? Where is she? At some point, she in the room she's with like, us? is that what you expected? And he was like, well, you. He wanted to be like, you lied, but. He's like, but I can work with this. I can work with this. He said. <laughs> he really? I, he really looked at it and was like, you, you lied to me. He that wanted to say, you lied to me. That was, that was a funny Jimmy? Yeah, like, also, Jimmy, undercover comedian. We're going to talk about this. Oh, my but God. He, he was hitting with the zingers. But Jimmy is a, also, I think he's a Scorpio. Shout out to my peeps. Uh, I was like, how long? For me, I was looking at this one. I was like, "How long? <laughs> how long will you be taking that on?" Because mm-hmm. I would have been like, "Are you insane?" It was a lot, but we're we're gonna get to the the first bouts of crazy. So we go to the honeymoon. I don't know which country they're in. Maybe they're in the DR. DR? Some know. tropical thing. They're in a, I, don't I don't know. know. Um, they're in the DR. We see. Uh, I, I I'm sorry. Did I? Say, I didn't mean to say. It. They're in a tropical place, and we see. All the couples, Ad and Clay. Mm-hmm. I thought they were so cute. Their little, their little um, morning videos. They it looked so very, good. It was very cute with their glasses. Yes, mm-hmm. Kenneth and Brittany. They had a conversation in a bed, which again, at this point, I'm like, okay. Uh, the Kenneth, way like, he approached it, I was like, maybe not every night, but this was cute. Way he says, he tells her like, he every night he wants to kind of basically give a resume of their day and see what's working, what's not. It's 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 a be a little extra for every night, like you said, but it definitely was a beautiful sentiment. And I, I, I like to see that. We see all the couples connecting. Laura and Jeremy were being very flirty and touchy. I was like, oh, she actually likes him. Interesting. I didn't think she was going to be attracted to him. Um, <laughs> to Chelsea and Jimmy. They were Chelsea and Jimmy. So, that us to the interesting parts. They have uh, the meetup with everybody. Um, and what happens is, I guess Chelsea was secure until she saw AD. I don't know what happened, but they get there and AD is bodying as usual. Adi, 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 she's adi, wearing adi, a dress adi. that is, oh, she's looking. Oh. She's, I mean, you've seen the dress that she's been wearing. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, I, I, she was beautiful. And everybody is like, whoa, AD, like, this is what you know. And Chelsea and Jimmy, like, she's like, oh, do what I tell you, like, you know, like, I told you AD had body, and like, Jimmy kind of comments. On her body, and he kind of spins her around, type of thing. And uh, dur, 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 dur. Chelsea's um, I mean, but Chelsea did trigger got triggered. Fox, but Chelsea is the one I called it. No, she called it like, Damn, you fine. Like, she she was trying to be the cool girlfriend type, like, oh, like we we check out girls together, like, look at us, you know. But she's the she's not confident enough in herself to do that. But also, here's the thing you could you could do that. Without being like, oh my god, girl, because you could, I would do that to you as a yeah. as, outside of being with my man or whatever. I would do that because you know. Yeah. But with my man, I would be like, yo, she looks so good. That would be it. No, but again, she couldn't do either of those because yeah, she's as, not as soon girl. as she said that, she like, let's say she girl. just said that, oh, you look good. Oh, she looks good, and then he had agreed, and she would be like, why are you agree with me? <laughs> <laughs> she's the type. Like, she's why would type. you say that? Like, type. type of thing. So I'm like, I don't think that she was ready for but, that. And the interaction with AD was a bit. I was watching it and I was like, it's lasting too long. I was like, this is oh, too long. Okay. There's a moment where I was watching it and I was like, even outside of Chelsea being who she Chelsea means is. When Jimmy, Jimmy when, took 
AD to the side and they kind of had a little conversation. And she was kind of, because AD, I feel like she's flirty as a person. Yeah, she's naturally flirty. She's just flirty. She's not flirting with him, but she, that's who she is. And so that conversation lasted way too long I agree for Chelsea. That. You could feel Chelsea was starting to choke. She was just looking like... Chelsea was in the back alone. Now you there looking silly, alone, ordering a drink. It was... I'm sorry. It was hilarious. I don't laugh at people's pain, but I'm... I was also, laughing. shout out to the camera crew for catching all of those little... It was great. Because yep. Chelsea was... Her face dropped. She was oh, like... really dropped. Like, really? Are you still talking with her? And then more AD drop. Okay, also, Kenneth... It was one I knew Kenneth. Mm, shut up. Kenneth is over there. AD and Clay. Ooh, black love. Black A, I see. Yeah, when he said that, I was like, you... Hey, mm. I was like, this is not interesting. Your, you know what? I mean, you know, to each their own. But I was just like, it seems like you're... Hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> you want a black woman? That's what you wanted to say? I don't know. But they were saying... I mean, at that point, it looked like he brought a chair over to Brittany. He was he being did. super sweet. He was being very sweet. Um, he was being very sweet. At that, like, that point, we're like, okay. I was like, your mama and your parents did some right. Like, yep. For sure. Yeah. Uh, and then the, more AD and Clay drama. Laura and, and, and Jeremy... Somebody says, hey, tell AD how he wants to bean dip her or something. Which apparently is and we all were like somebody's boobs? Nipple. nipple. Not the boobs. Oh, the yeah, nipple. They, yeah. The, that's why he said, can they explain? And I was like, because first of all, they said, bean dip. And I was like, so what is that? Everybody was like, that's so weird. Don't come and touch my nipples. You are weird. But anyway, so Laura suggested to Jeremy. Oh, she said that to Jeremy. That's what the thing. And then Jeremy tells the joke. Um, yeah. Which, you know, Clay, people thought Clay should have stood up more for AD, but he just, he was like, Jeremy, oh, no, 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 Jeremy, type of thing. He didn't really like, I mean, again. I mean, what else was there to say? Like, I don't think there was anything to say. He didn't, yeah. he don't know her. Like, oh yeah, we're engaged. He don't know her. Um, <laughs> don't come for me. <laughs> I, no, I agree with I will. If you say something. I will be right here with Nikki. Like, cause it's like, like it's okay. Like, we, we may like each other. We may want to catch them. But y'all don't y'all know each other. Each other. Right. That's my thing. As, as proven this season. As we, as we keep going. So, mm. the, the bean dip conversation gets a little weird. Because Laura and Jeremy are talking. And, and Laura's mad that Jeremy said anything. And, he's like, and he, you can see in his face, he immediately shuts down. Like, he became a clown. He's like, I don't want to do this no more. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, wow, you have a little short fuse. And, you know, we can, but... Nah, Laura is a little, the way she brought it to him is a way to shut somebody down. But when he got up and said, I don't like, I'm going home, I thought that was a little, we jumped a little far. So here's my thing. From that interaction alone, anybody could have been like, they're not compatible. She doesn't hmm. communicate in a way that he, because there's just people that communicate differently. You and I communicate differently and we had to learn how to communicate and make sure that we understand each other. I feel like they just don't, there's people that just, they just don't. She doesn't know how to communicate in a way that well, she's not rude. like accusatory. She was just like, yeah, why would you? And it's like, yo, she's chill. That's a joke. She's like, rude. And her, her, her initial and her mom told her she way of speaking is just, it, it's rude. It's That's, and, and, and Jeremy does not respond well to, to rudeness. Yeah, she's very so, rough. you know, he gets up. He said, I'm going home. Blah, blah. We're, we leave that. Chelsea, <laughs> Chelsea and Jimmy go back that night. I was like, why are you? You didn't say come to me. You didn't come to you me. Didn't kiss me. You didn't kiss me. You didn't hug me. Like, all the other couples were being lovey. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I ran to Twitter. Everybody on Twitter. It's like love is blind, the hashtag. 90% of it was just talking about Chelsea and how annoying she was. was and that was so the so same confused, thing for every bro. single episode. I was like, why is she? Was he supposed to stick by your side? Stand by. I feel like if he was smart, night. he would have recorded an I love you and just played it. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, just like, just play it. Just, just be your ring. Whatever you want to hear me say, I love you. Just it's play just, it. Yeah. Like, because that was insane. Oh my like, God. I was like, ma'am, he's meeting some of these ladies for the first time. He's socializing. Be a little less freaking clingy. <sighs> and what? Oh. We need to have that yeah, we we don't get it, but like I was like I was disgusted by Chelsea there. I was just like stand up. A lot of women online were like, do not make me, do not make me side with Jimmy, <laughs> cause cause Jimmy was generally there. Like oh, but what he, about he you? was so confused. Like with reason too. Now I get he was speaking with uh, AD a little too long, yeah. but other than that, like not coming to your side all night, not 
Yeah, he's, Look, I mean, he's socializing. Like, what do you, what do you he's want talking to, do? to the other guys. He's talking to the other girls because he's also getting to know the other girls because you know they never interacted. That's what I'm he's getting to know everybody as a couple. So that was that was um very interesting. So she she was mad, but the next day they brushed all that under the rug and was back to saying I love yous. So I was like, okay, yeah, that that's you see toxic relationship right there, right there. Also, I want to say Adi and Clay gave me a lot of red flags during the honeymoon. He would zone out sometimes. Right and just like you know, she would speak, and it was it'd be like I don't know what the he's doing. He's eating his soup, uh, and she was like, oh, "Okay, guess we're not listening to me." Um, and another castmate. I mean, you don't you have to explain what he said to her about that though. What did he say? Go ahead. There was this one time where basically they were eating, and then he stopped talking to her completely. He was just in the food, and you could tell she was probably wanting him to be like, "Oh, you want to try my soup or whatever?" But he was just he was eating that soup. It was so awkward. And then. It was so awkward because even the way they produced that that section was very awkward. You could feel the silence, and he just started cleaning up the table. As she, I don't even know if she was done eating fully, and <laughs> she started speaking to him, and he zoned out, and he was like, "Nah, really, like I was thinking about, you know, how I want to be good to you, and like right. basically yeah. went back once again to how his dad cheated on his mom, and how like, like I made cheat on you, by each, the way. exactly. Pretty much the whole season is just like." And By the way, my dad cheated on my mom, so I'm probably gonna do the same probably, thing. Just like I'm really like him, so I'm just saying. so it's like you know, like father like son type thing. Just so you know, just you okay with like, cheating? It's so fine. that's that's what he that's where he went, and I feel like she actually liked that he explained and that whole situation was validated by one of the guys that she talked yes. to later and he was like have you ever noticed that he kind of zones out. out so she was like okay it's not a me thing mm -hmm. he does that absolutely that's what i don't remember which castmate I she was talking to but one of the guys said yeah do he be and she was like so relieved because like oh god i thought it was me okay he does that to everyone great yeah. good to know now let's go back to the, let's go to the real world we come to the real world immediately we go to the real world y'all know they take these people's phones right and we're going to start losing couples the phones, one by one. The phones are back. The phones are back. The family is here. And Kenneth is in it, baby. Kenneth, Kenneth is and in it. This, 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 this Kenneth. The whole time. <laughs> Kenneth is like, oh my god, wow. Like, look at all these messages. Wow. Yeah. Um, And Brittany is like, I'm still trying to get to know you. Because she's like, I'm just talking. Like, like, do you want to help? He's like, yeah, one sec. I'm like, he's not even looking up. He's like, do you have to cook? He said that at some point. He's like, you have to cook. He like, said that? I don't know if it's at that time, but there's a moment where he's like, you need to cook. And I was like, oh, no, okay, Kenneth. So Kenneth is a different person when he has his phone, okay? He's not attentive, Kenneth, that we saw. He's not bringing chairs, okay? Kenneth. Kenneth has emails. <laughs> Kenneth has emails to answer. He's got a school to run, okay? Um, also, he, that's very impressive at 25. I'm just to be a principal, it's yes. very impressive. Mm. But Brittany, we don't got no time for you. We all love is blind, and we're supposed to be getting married in two weeks. But it's it's fine. I don't have time to talk to you. Like you know what I mean? It's the fact that this whole show is happening in less, in like a month. It's literally a month. It's, it's you know what I mean. And so she sits down at one point to like talk to him on the bed, and he literally gets up and walks down the stairs with his phone. Oh, he's not even looking anyway. He's like. I was like, damn, pretty. You can't even get a little. You can't get a wave. I was like, what? Well, okay. You can't even do a little. I'm sorry, I'm doing emails, and then you know, no. I was like, okay, well, we'll see how that goes. And and <sighs> what what happens with them eventually is um, he comes home one day, and she's at in the kitchen and they're talking, and she's and it's been a few days of this phone behavior now at this point, and not a lot of interaction or cuddles as she mentions. She said she wasn't feeling the crave. That she felt in the <laughs> and he said bet we're done <laughs> and that's basically what happened you think we're exaggerating we're not it's know? literally what happened go watch the scene you don't feel the crave i bet he was like, was really like also you don't you don't crave me you don't oh because that's that's because me that's a you problem sounds like a you problem because me i like that so we're done so we're, we're it's really done but hug so it's no beef no he was really like you good I, you know what he was he, he was texting out somewhere he was like you good and she was like yeah he was like all right and then he just and he immediately gets on his phone he's texting i was like i just want to this is to me the most perplexing i can't wait for the reunion because i just want to see like i want to hear yeah what the hell from so you've seen how so many cast members i've been on social media even though the reunion is now out which a lot yeah. of people have been complaining about and this is what i said i i don't know i think we me and you were having that conversation where I said this show shouldn't exist for that many seasons because now this is what happens because people try to capitalize on their appearances in right. these shows, especially the ones that didn't make it all the way through marriage. So pretty much, um, Je I think it was Jess, 
Mm -hmm. uh, she actually was on a pod and people were asking her questions about this specific situation and what she explained, which I don't know if it's the case or not. What she explained is they had actually been filming all day. They already had had that conversation outside of cameras and they had to reenact-ish the conversation. Really? Yeah. Hey, can you say Jess? No, Jess was on a show. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, That's Jess, Jess, said this. Jess said this okay. on a podcast where pretty much Britney and Kenneth had already had that conversation outside of the cameras. But they had oh, to they had to reshoot, to reshoot it. it. Yeah. So he was over it because it was multiple conversations. Well, I guess they already had that conversation. But for the purpose of the show, they had to... I get it. Shoot that, that scene, makes a shoot lot that more scene again, and he was, and she was like, I think he was just done. He was just over it because they had already talked about. So that. what I, so what I can concur on is that Kenneth is not a good actor. Um, he was just like, yo. I mean, you could like, finish more. this. Let's give her a little more, so she looks better on TV. But I but get also, that. it's if like you mean you making me reshoot something. I don't want to. Yeah. Or yeah, and no. at the end of the day, my thing is just like we didn't see uh, Jimmy see Jess for the first time. Y'all could have just told us. Y'all could have told us that conversation. We didn't have to get this awkward. No, production was like, we want to put it in. Because we need to explain why they're not there for the last remaining episodes. But but I still want to get to reunion to understand what is it that changed once they got to the real world. Yeah, you know what changed. Break up you know what changed. <laughs> so during during the during the the, honey, uh, the honeymoon phase, oh, uh, it's also AD, the, the fact she's not black. Woman. Yeah, during the honeymoon right, phase, right, yeah. AD came to talk to him and was like, um, you know, in the real world, are you ready to face whatever it is that people are going to say because she is not a black woman? Are you like, are you willing to endure that? Like, because she, she, she was had some bad things. It was really on some real shit. She was really like, it was real facts. It was does it, it, it was, was like, I'm it, trying to see if you're ready for this because it's real things that are going to come with that, and it's not just outside people. It could be your family, it could be your mom. As a me church member, is like, yeah. The thing is, like, that definitely. Even though he was already having those feelings, that's what yeah. I told you. Yeah. Like he was, but she accentuated them. Yeah. Like really he was like, like, okay, he validated. Like she was like, okay, this is really what I'm gonna get in the real world, and he started thinking, is this what I want? Now I and and, and, and maybe the back. and maybe the love wasn't strong enough After to Kendi, to to, no. discuss, to decide to fight for to to deal with all of that. So he he was like, I'm out. Yeah, that's my. I think I think yeah, her not being black probably played a part. Right. A lot of people online are saying that he's gay. Um, listen, I, I don't know if this man is gay, I don't know if he's bi, I don't know if he's fan, I don't know what he is. He's, if he's heterosexual, then he is heterosexual. I feel like people shouldn't just assume things based on... I, I didn't get any... I don't know. It's not even just that, it's just like, a lot of people are... What I've noticed online, and for a lot of things, there's a trend where men are not acting like they're interested in a woman that looks nice and that looks, you know, pretty and things like that. People start being like, oh, is he gay? And it's like, well, maybe let him explain. If he pulls up to the reunion and is like, I'm gay... I'm like, hey, right, you gay, cool. He probably won't say that because he's, he's, he, you know, the church thing. But I'm just saying. Well, I'm just saying. I stop think, doing that to people. I, I do that. I do that to, for my friends. Yeah, you because do. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Because the only explanation must be you are not into women. But there's nothing wrong with being gay. There's absolutely, absolutely nothing. 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 Um, that's. I, I was about to do the little, but absolutely. yeah. So we went from five to four. Now we're at four. Let's let's talk about the other one we lose in the in, in the battle. Um, Jeremy and Laura are back, and he has a very clean apartment. Um, he lives in an Airbnb. Okay. <laughs> um, I was I was like, this either he's a psychopath, or or he has a or he has money and he has somebody cleaning his apartment, or that ain't his place, or that's he not his place. No, this was like, <sighs> and. and also, you know, there's been some tea online. Jeremy was previously engaged, so it's like he might have been leading a double life. I, I don't know at that point. Well, he said that before they started shooting the show, that that relationship was done. It's just that, you know, living arrangements had to be rearranged. Interesting. My thing is, this girl could go online and say, you know, I was with him, so you know, it, and I haven't seen that yet. That's, that's she did. She didn't do that. That's so true. that's what I'm saying. If she, if that was the case, we know how people are. That would probably mean something online. So and people are allowed to have lives. Before. That's fine. But Jeremy just looks shy to me. Um. So <laughs> is it because his name is spelled with, with an A? It's because it's Jeremy with an A. It's absolutely like that. Oh so, my god. We see them. Um, you know, they were get again. They were both snipping and snapping so at each other. So when they meet like, the parents, for me. even the the parents are like, I think her mom. Yeah, her mom. Her mom was like, "You two talk crazy to each other." She said, "You talk to each other in a very mean way." Yeah, 
and I don't know if they thought that maybe because you know how some people they do that like it's like no. no you could tell and also do you remember what her dad said what did he say he said that he loves his little girl very much but that do not let this woman walk over because she yes, would walk yes, all yes, over yes. you. And the way he said that, I was like, you know your daughter knows, is problematic. He, you know your daughter is problematic. He knows the toxic. You know your daughter is problematic. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm not glad he's those were the more signs because, because mm -hmm. he clearly, to me, it looked like he just can't handle Alora. He, but he could definitely be with Sarah and I don't know a lot of people that can. No, the a person I I know a couple. I know them in my real life. And you have to be a very specific I know. type of man. They need to be the type to be like, you won't talk, don't ever talk to me that way. Because if they don't do that, then she will continue. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And he wasn't. He wasn't that. Yeah. So we get into a situation where we see a, a morning scene wow. with Jeremy and Laura. And he has come home after being out all night gallivanting around the city. And Laura's like, you know, where was you? Allegedly at a bar. Allegedly. But that was the explanation. So thus far, you know, I went out, had drinks with guys. I did see Sarah and we talked a little bit in the parking lot. <laughs> and I shared my location. And I shared my location with you so you would know. And, you know, at this point, Laura, you know, you know, we gave her ish. She was in the bed alone trying to figure out where is her man's. And man's is out with Sarah Ann. Now she's like, oh, so he was in the parking lot, huh? That's where he was? He was like, yeah, that's where it was. He like, she was like, how am I supposed to check you a question? I was sleeping. He's like, yeah, well, that, that's when he got confident. He was like, okay, she was sleeping. She was like, but well, I shared my location. <laughs> then she was like, I lied. I wasn't sleeping. I saw. You was in the, the, up north where Sarah Ann lives. He was like, Lie to me. I just, just want to say, if you're going to lie about where you were, why would why you share your location? Ah, I need to see what to do better. Because it's like, you, that was, I, I promise you, Emmy, I was trying to understand because if you share it, let, let's say you don't know she was asleep. She could be a crazy person that stayed up for the eight hours and followed your location. So why do you, it was weird to me. I was like, why are you lying? Cause, and, and then he's like, yeah, so I was with Sarah Ann and she at this point was like, yeah, I'm done. Because you were at her house all night and me too, I would have some questions. It's like, what did you do all night? We just talked. To a girl. Oh, they could have just talked. I've, I've definitely stayed in cars and talked to. to but you're men. different. No, no. A lot of people do that. You could like literally. Cars versus in the apartment. Was he in the apartment? Yeah, he was in her house. Okay, no, they did not just. But talk. then again, I, I've just talked with certain people. I'm sure. That I also was attracted to. I'm sure. In her house at least, until I don't know what time. There was a kiss or two. She said when they later yeah, on when they meet up, she like you. She told me he told me it was basically over and that he was leaving. her. So, Saren talks way too much. If I was Saren, I would not say nothing. And I don't think she's about to say anything. Why? Because she feels like she's gloating at this point. She won. I know, but I got, but see, see, here's the difference. I, I know I won. I don't need y'all to know my... For me, it's just I don't need y'all to know my business. That's also why we go into these shows. Because I don't need people to know my business like that. Yeah, these people are different. Yeah. So then we lose... At this point, I wasn't sure if we had lost Jeremy and Laura yet. I thought maybe, you know, maybe they we'll were, talk they, it out. They were... But and Laura was done. But in her, her, in they her she was done. They were they were pretty done. They were on a thread. Um and then we have um we have a meetup at this point. Sorry, close the door. I'm sorry. Can we close the door now? I do you need it to breathe. Door open. Yeah. I'm sorry because I'm cold. Or do you need it to breathe? No, but I close the door for you. Can you actually just push the because you're closing? Yeah, just push it. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so um so then we have a meetup, a barbecue or something. Uh somewhere <laughs> where all the cast was meeting up and also other by people. a lake or something they were somewhere i don't know they were in a house yeah uh, somewhere yeah somewhere and not only like the the current couples were there but they also invited people that were not chosen because of course netflix is messy so yeah but also i feel like it was netflix is messy but also i feel like it was also some people they actually had uh bonded with it was for a mess the, I mean that that yeah. other black girl that came wasn't for the mess. She was just yeah crazy. because they have to. They can't make it that obvious. They should have. They have. To it's be like lesbian messy. <laughs> they have to bring <laughs> in like okay, let's not show that we're just bringing in the. Dramatic. If I was the, if I was the producers, I would I would have added an extra layer with a like um, a voiceover and, the, and literally the voice would say so. We decided to be a little messy. Let's <laughs> see what would happen. I promise you, this is how we produce. Netflix hire me. Um, cause I, I would, I would really, 
reality TV show produced by me. me. That would I'm just saying it would be hilarious. Because well, I would really say we things. talked about a concept for here in Montreal, and I think we got a concept. But anyways, so they meet up, and now you know Chelsea's all up in arms already because she and we're gonna talk about Chelsea and Jimmy real quick after, but I want to talk about this meetup first. Um, uh, she's already you know in her antsy feelings, so she knows Jess ain't gonna be there, and she knows that we know that that Jimmy knows. Wait, that Jessica's fine. Pause. Yeah. We didn't talk about the others in the real world. We didn't talk about Chelsea and Jimmy. No, I know. I oh, I, okay. I, I know. Cool, cool, I know. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going back to couples. I just want to get this meetup out the way, so then we'll talk about couples. Because the meetup was like, and because we just talked about Laura and Jeremy, and that was their final scene. True. I wanted to just close that out. But so it, at the meetup, we see Trevor comes. He has got the mullet. He had a mullet. Mullet's and she gone. loved mullet. And she was like, oh my god, he's... The amount of time she said he's beefy, or beefcake. Oh. That's usually what I go for. Like Chelsea, okay. Um, Alright. Jess comes looking like Jess. Looking like she looking. Looking like she looking. Mm -hmm. She was looking good. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw I saw Jimmy looking too. I saw him. Hmm. The EpiPen was... He was ready. <laughs> he was ready. He was, he was ready. Because like, I just uh, thought all he had seen was pictures. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's like, ooh. It's better in real life, ain't it? Um, we also have Laura and Jeremy arrive separately. They, you know, obviously, they well, not obviously, they have not seen each other since the fight. Apparently, Jeremy tried to text her or send her Some flowers. flowers. He tried to get her address, and she was like, no. Like, I guess Laura was just done. And it's funny because we missed a little scene where he talked to his mother about the situation. His mom was like, you're lucky it wasn't me. I would have been at the door. I was like, okay, mom, I'm waiting, right. waiting for you, you. Like, come on, what's up? Like, where was you at? I was like, okay, mom. Because a lot of times mothers will definitely be for their sons and like, you know, da, 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 but she, she <laughs> get. If I was the mom, I'd have been like, who, who sent you to the show? Who? <laughs> no, that's who sent you? Who sent, who sent you? you? For sure. And and then so they have a conversation that goes just horribly. Like, and I just want to say like, I I I know that Laura was mad. I get it. But it's like she gave no. There was no room to have a conversation. We're not discussing this. Like, it's what I think. It's how I feel. It's how I feel. And I don't care about you. And I, exactly. And that's her problem. Yeah. That is her problem. She does not let room for other people, which is why she probably needs somebody that would be like, and I don't like saying this, but she probably needs somebody that would be like, yo, you, you're stepping out of, now you're entering territories that's where you do needs. not want to get. Cause we're we're gonna have an issue. That's what she needs. Unfortunately, that's why I'm thinking she needs therapy. Cause also, so it's also different personalities. Of course, <laughs> it's different personalities as well. But I'm just. I'm just but when I saw cool. that scene, that's when I what you said earlier. Mm -hmm. That's when I saw they're not compatible at all. Mm -hmm. Like this, they just no, they don't fit. It's bad. He was so done with her too. He was done with her because he was waiting for Sarah to show up. Okay, he said, "Where's my baby?" <laughs> it's because when she said, "You need to pack my things and send them to me," he was like, "Sorry, back. Back. <laughs> and I was like, "Ooh, no!" I was like, "Oh, you ate, Jeremy ate." That was like, "Oh, you ate." Did that one thing though. You, you ate. ate. You ate. I was like, "Wow." You ate. Okay. And then at the meetup, um, Sarah Ann also comes. He has a conversation with Sarah Ann where you said she talks too much, but she was basically kind of gloating a little bit, like where she was just like, you know, like, yeah, like he he came and he told me he she was telling this to the other girls. Like, he told me that he was going to leave her and blah, blah, blah. And then they have the conversation. And he's like, oh, you're, you've always, you like, been my choice or whatever. Like, I clearly I chose wrong. He did. And, well, he did. That was honest. But it was. But I just feel like, for me, this was not the place for that conversation. I just felt. This was the place. Netflix wanted no, it to be No, I didn't like Netflix it. Netflix wanted it to be Because she's right the place. there. Like, uh, I mean, we're talking about that same place where where Jimmy told Jess, you're in the real world, you're still my number one. Okay, yeah. we're gonna get back to that. But I'm just saying, it's like, Netflix wanted this to be the place, this was the place, they were done. Even if they were in the same, you know, location, they were done. He already packed her things. I he it. didn't care anymore. I he was it. like, I don't, I guess I, I just care. didn't like it, because I felt like, I guess they didn't care about each other no, at all. They, they I didn't like it. They didn't, they didn't care. I mean, he didn't care about how she felt the same way I feel like she didn't care about some of the things that she probably said to him. Yeah. I feel like they were just incompatible and they should have, when he realized that she was who she is, he should have just been like, you know what? I don't think this is going to work. 
he should have told Netflix, I can't do this. Yeah. And he should have done like Homeboy from past season did. And he should have been like, let me go call Saran for real, for real and get back. Like for right, real. Right, he right. should have done this. That's what he should have done. You see what I'm trying to say? Right, right. So well, exactly. he should have put Zach. But talking about Saran, I just want to address, before we go back to the other couples, I do want to address that conversation between AD and Saran when AD like literally pulled her to the side yeah. and was just like, hey, like, hmm. so here's what I didn't like. First thing AD did was like, Oh my god, but you didn't know it was still engaged, right? This is you telling somebody, I know you're not dumb enough. Yeah, I know. I know you knew this man was engaged, but I just need to make sure that you knew what you were doing was wrong, right? So this is the first thing she does. And then she keeps repeating the question in what different think, ways. I think maybe oh, she, she was in touch. She wasn't no, she wasn't. Bro, I have I know, this scene, I saw this scene and I remember me being like that to some people when I was younger, and I was like, this is exactly what she's doing. Because she's like so she's antagonizing her and after a while after asking sorry after asking the question in 60 different ways she's just like i mean i'm not here to question you or anything and i just <laughs> i was just like i know people are about to say i'm not a girl's girl i don't give a shit okay here's the thing i did not like that interaction i did not like first of all i know like they've known each other 2.5 seconds sarah and talked way too much you don't have you don't owe ad anything you're not going to see her in three weeks that whole show is going to be done you're never going to see her again in your life you don't need to tell her nothing that's the first thing ad yeah you don't i don't owe you an explanation no miss but i'm sorry it doesn't mean that they're not going to see each other again because some of the like i told you some of these women have formed lasting friendships i, from I feel class. you i don't know that that was the case between those two based on how she they were talking okay. to each other because you're not talking to me like that and expecting that we have a relationship outside of that Okay. No way. So for me, it was just like, AD, you're doing too much, mind your own business, because your man is telling you that he's going to cheat on you. <laughs> she, did say, she did say, um, AD needs to worry about Clay. Yeah. And she do. Yeah. And outside of worrying about Clay, it was just like, why are you antagonizing this woman when, one, y'all know each other two seconds, two, again, like Nikki said, and this is something that you've mentioned and I've mentioned again, these people engaged. I've known each other 3.5 seconds and it's not a question of like time that does matter or whatever. Some people in the real world outside of this show meet and after two weeks they get married. You it's know, true. it happens. And sometimes last But I'm just saying, me personally, there are certain things that I cannot take seriously when I be seeing the way they interact with each other. It's, it just, hey, it's not, but I have thoughts. I'm just saying, I didn't like that interaction at all. I didn't like how she was trying to be like, or I'm the police and I'm questioning you because that's really the position that she was on. And Sarah, and for me, like it's like you spoke way too much to AD about that whole situation. You could have kept that to yourself and your friends and just moved on from that show because that was horrible. That was I was it was horrible to watch. And I Twitter was just like, yeah, AD is a girl's girl. And I was just like, yeah, just okay. Yeah. So I don't I need y'all to just like like mm. when Emmy texted me about this and I, I I said I see both sides. I saw why Sarah Ann would be immediately defensive and like what the hell are you saying but i saw also a d trying to stick up for her friend and do i think she did it in the right way do i think there was another way to ask this instead of being extremely condescending um yes however like it's like it's hard because as a woman who also feel like my girl like, you know she has a man no like he has a, he has a he has a girl like what do you but why and, and my and my and my thing is even as a woman like i don't like that desperation like why are you saying so if it doesn't work out call me like i i'm just like i would just be like stand up for yourself like don't be a, like don't do this like don't let somebody that is not somebody's husband <laughs> don't let people stop you <laughs> this is very toxic me don't don't listen to that 100 percent. but i'm just saying if they hey look at alicia keys i mean i mean listen hey sometimes Boom. you have to go for the take and matter and i promise you if they pull up if sarah and jeremy pull up i don't think they will but if they pull up to the reunion talking about yeah we'll be together i'm gonna be like well my thing is what's for you is gonna be for you all sarah Ann had to do was sit there and eat her food and he would have come back still she didn't have to text him this she could have liked a couple pictures and i would have been signal enough that that door is open you know what i mean i did not have to and i think ad was just like it's kind of like you you inserted yourself here and you were and and that's already playing in his mind like oh okay i have the sarah andor i have the sarah andor i have the sarah andor and i see what ad was trying to say i'm not saying like that would have made him try harder with laura or whatever it probably still would not have worked mm -hmm. it's just like a thing like yo that's my girl i'm like i like what you did she came at her crazy in my opinion and 
Sarah Ann was right to. I know she's, she's who the like, fuck are you? She stood there way too long, actually. Because for me, if you had been speaking to me and saying that, oh, I'd be like, girl, okay. I'm walking out. All right, cool. I'm walking out. Don't try and like don't. And also, especially because now it's a heated moment. If you're trying to touch me, say fini. It's over. It's done. So that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, Amy, who are you to go and talk to this woman about this? Sarah Ann, like you said, stood there for way too long. But also, I saw that, and it's something with women that do happen. All the time. No. Why? If you wanted to tell somebody something, why didn't you go to Jeremy? Who was the one that was supposed right. to be in a situation? Right. Should, but you decided to go to the woman. She's not the one that had a commitment. She's right. literally not the one. And literally, maybe six days before, maybe not, maybe three, because we don't really know the time frame. Three days before, he really was hesitating to the last second between her and, and Laura. So for me, it's, it's also one of those things where people are like, yeah, but he's in engagement. I get it. But three days, literally, it's not like they've been together for a long time. There was no other be people involved. Three days ago, you were hesitating between this woman and this other woman and you made a choice not necessarily based on oh my god she's better she's a better fit for me but because sometimes with the pressure you're like oh let me choose this person and that's also i told nikki that a couple days ago i feel like if you go to this experiment choose somebody that's only about you and hopefully you're only about them because once you start having options especially in that setting i feel like then you're not really about that person that's my own personal opinion because it's just it just it's not it's just not it guys Please don't. I yeah. don't know what's happening today. Please don't go to the show. Please so, don't. I mean, I, 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 said, I said my thoughts on that. So, we're, yeah. we're going to fast forward on that. Um, Another thing that happened on that get together, Trevor and Chelsea spoke. He, again, reiterated, like, asked, you know, if he if he had asked first type of thing. He feels like, I feel like I would have asked first. And he was very smug about it. He's like, you know, I, I know I treated you well. Oh, I know. I know I gave you what you wanted. He was like, look at you. He was like, oh, okay. And Chelsea was just like, I mean, yeah, like you would have been, you were great, blah blah blah. But like, you know, I'm with Jimmy now. Life um, with you would have been so fun. I could like, I could have seen it, but like, I'm with Jimmy. So I was like, okay, okay. dum dum dum. And then, like you said earlier, Jimmy had his conversation with Jess, where he said that in the real world, that's insane. He, he's still not number one. Um, I just if we, if at the reunion, this we only have to. What I, I need to hear so many things because I'm just. They like, just need to do the reunions live and take questions. From they the should. Oh my god, let's do it live. But they tried. No, they tried that one time. Remember it? And we was <laughs> waiting. <laughs> and it was like, you know what? Scrap it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so then, so that was that meetup, and then we go back to the individual couples. Um, Kenneth and Brittany, Laura and Jeremy. Who else? Oh, Amy and Johnny. So, whew, child, let me forget about that. Um, Amy and Johnny. When they got back, they're just really planning on life. You know, they're talking about schedules. They they trying to figure out what you know when they're having children and, yeah. and you know that your favorite combo from them too. You know, they they're really like you I could tell like they're they're about this. Like they're doing this. You know what I mean? And they definitely have a few conversations about contraception because Amy is not on birth control and apparently Johnny has never heard of a woman that is not on birth control. That's never it's foreign to him. Never. <laughs> it's just like, he was just like, okay, so like, basically they're abstaining from sex. And it seems at that point that they were the only couple because he doesn't want to have a child. But like, does he know about like, does he know condoms? Condoms exist. Does he know I, about? I know they're not 100% safe, but like. I think that's his thing. Like, my thing is like, so but he needs a hundred, but the only hundred percent way the pill is, isn't. It's not like either. none of the contraceptive methods. <laughs> people get pregnant on the pill. Like, so I was like, Johnny, oh, like, oh my God, that's where I was watching. And I told him this, I was like, where, what is the, it what's the worst thing? What, like, what's so bad about having a child? That's what I was, cause I'm like, if you're having I mean, sex, I get if you don't want to have children, that's, I no, that's fine. But you're saying like, eventually you want to have, like you, if you're going to have sex, you need to be aware of that possibility. Do you remember that episode where he went to look into what a vasectomy was? Yes. And he was just like, oh, cha, that's the, that's the method for men uh no 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 like he was he was not about it and and he and i guess they're gonna reconsider birth control for her again I, or i'm thinking i mean pull out condoms i don't know like I'm all just, i'm gonna say is again no women should be forced to take contraception if they don't want to because this is a lot that go that happens to 
our bodies when we do take contraceptions. For the one that choose to do so, it's fine. But for the one that don't want to do so, don't. It's terrible. Like, don't force yourself to do it. Maybe um, not for everyone it's terrible. No, but it's, it's I, every, to each down. But I know a lot of women who just had just bad experiences on it. And I, I, yep. I will never, like, pressure a woman who doesn't want to take birth control to take it because it's quite horrible on the body. No, it's like, y'all, just make sure y'all use condoms. Try and use the one with latex because they break less than the ones without latex unless you're allergic and, you know, that's what you have to deal with. Listen to the pro. Hey. So, I'm just saying, there's, there's ways, you know what I mean? Like, there's are moments. There they also, like, women are not fertile for their whole cycle. I feel like the world should know that because I feel like yes, a lot of men don't know that. A lot, actually, a lot, of women, a lot of people just don't know that. No, figure out your so calendar. You know, there's listen. moments. There's little apps that you can, you know. Listen. Um, we have, yeah. So, yeah. that's basically Amy and Johnny's thing. They, the, they had a meeting with her dad, which was the absolute cutest. Okay, her dad is, her dad is precious. Her dad is lovely. Lovely. No, he is. And he loves his baby want, girl. I just want to give him a hug. He's, he seems so oh, nice. Like, oh my god, he's that's mm. the type of father like any girl would want. Like you, that's the, you like lovely dad. And he, you know, he, she talked about how he protected her when she was young. Got friends to come to her birthday party because she was new and you know didn't know anybody. He's adorable. Like he's the and he sees he like says I see you. I'll always see you as that like five year old and like. I don't know if it was in a bad way or not, because I remember thinking, mm, does he, like, infantilize her? But no. but no, like, it seems like in a wholesome way. Like, I just, you're my precious girl that I want to protect and love. And and he approved of Johnny and his man bun. So it was, <laughs> it was really, it, it was great. It was great. I want to talk about AD and Clay. Let's go. I want to talk about how they met each other's parents. Yeah. Because that was, um, you know, they got back to real life. You know, like she visited his apartment. She was like, "Okay, all American." You know, they have this whole thing where they hype each Every other. Time they out they go, like, okay, okay, and 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 you know, that's how they, they do a lot, bro. Like, a lot. Um. So yeah, like I guess you know they they went in to meet each other's parents, and I really liked the conversation between Ad and her mom before Clay arrived, and she was you know really trying to understand Pouring the process, her well. and she was really yeah. Her mom is beautiful. Like beautiful. mom is oh, oh love her mom. Um, shout out to this woman. Actually, shout out to the moms I've seen on this show because they all their moms are great. Their moms are even great. Uh, Clay's mom. Yeah, yeah Clay's mom. Oh, Clay's mom. Mwah. So yeah, it's, it was just like you know. So here's the thing that I want to note. I don't know about y'all, but if I'm going to meet my man's parents, even if I'm not going to their house, I'm bringing something just because I can't. I can't oh, just bring myself. I agree. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird. I think that's the Caribbean and that's stuff. Oh, is it? But he's Caribbean. He's Guyanese. Well, he's not Caribbean. He's Guyanese. I didn't know that. He didn't know that. How much? Oh, you know? know? I talked about this with another friend. He's from Ghana. Okay. He's not technically Caribbean. Well, actually, let me know. Yeah, man. It's, it's it's in South America. It's it's. I mean, but the culture be the culture be the yeah. It's it's Caribbean. Caribbean. I mean, they're touching the Caribbean. So anyways. this man, I, if I if I'm not incorrect from the flag I saw on his Instagram. This man is Guyanese, right? And it's just like, oh. so you're saying it's the Caribbean on us, but I'm like, ain't no way I'm pulling up to somebody's parents' house that I'm dating, and I'm pulling up, like, not even an apple, not even a You're right, you're right. Like and a we, bottle of and we have seen some men do that before. That's what I'm trying to say. So that, that's the first thing that I noticed, because I was just like, he's coming to talk to her mom, but mm -hmm, where is mm -hmm, the things? Mm -hmm. So that's the thing. Um, but the mom I really liked him though. She she she's fine, like, and she was like, "Ooh, okay." I don't know this Both time. AD and her mom need to tell me what they see. <laughs> um, no, okay, okay. but they need to tell both of us because I don't I don't see it. He's not ugly at all. Not an ugly man at all. I'm just. But the, we don't the, understand the extraness. The... <laughs> wow. Am I lying? <laughs> don't understand this face. Am I um, lying? Am I lying? No, I just want to know. Mola, I don't know. All I know is that the, 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 he's so far. Can we insert a picture of him right there, please? It's gonna be a picture. Can we insert wherever it's gonna be? Um, it's gonna be a picture, but I'm, he's, he, there's worse than Clay. You can do a lot worse than Clay. He's tall. He's great. He's tall. He has all his teeth. He has all his teeth. That's, he has hair. Yeah. That's, he's, yeah. his body's, I mean, he's maintaining mm -hmm. himself. A lot of good things about Clay. His, um, not, not, well, we're gonna get off his face because it's, yeah, it's about to get disrespectful. Now, um, if it wasn't already, <laughs> as he's sitting with the mom, she's pouring into both of them, mm. um, and she is really kind of explaining 
marriage and relationships and it was a beautiful scene and i'm just sitting there the whole time looking like and this man about the player because i knew and i'm like and we all knew and we and i'm like and clay's sitting there, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, because because yeah because yeah i know and she will she will fight for me and again and he mentioned again his problems because for some reason why why not why not mentioning every problems scene, he has to tell us his dad cheated on his mom he went on some of the cheating excursions and he will that's at some cool. point. That's crazy. Cheat. That's insane. That is crazy. Oh, that's bold. <laughs> you just sit here while I go, mm. that's bold. Um, so then we get we you know, their relationship it was more a lot what we saw is like the meeting of the parents, great conversations that we see that they come from at least great a, parents. Great parents, mm-hmm. and they, and we saw that Clay was trying since he was watching old seasons of Love is Blind, talking about growth, talking about, you know, this is what I this is I see what a husband is, type of thing. I think he was definitely having self discovery, and AD was in another relationship. Her head wasn't in the relationship she was in. She wasn't there. Well, wrong hand. I'm getting married because yeah, I could see vibes. that she was seeing and understanding something completely different than what Clay was trying to tell her. Oh, uh, we. It's like we were watching. It was so weird because I'm like, I see it now. You know when you have that one friend or that one girl that you know of that is in a relationship where you're like. This man is not. Please don't do it. You want to tell her that, yeah. But then you don't know how she doesn't see it. I feel like that's the first time I've actually witnessed it in a way that was really. They really captured it so well. The whole world was like, "Girl, please run." And she was just in love. Yeah. And we, or whatever it is after. Well, yeah, maybe she was in love. I don't know. Infatuated. No, she she was infatuated for sure. Um, and she thought she was just tired. She wanted somebody to choose her. She was tired of the dating and i get it we a lot of times as women you date a lot oh. you go through difficult situations you go through traumatic situations and you think one that is half decent oh this could be the one and then you know you get let down so i i completely understand and can relate on that end um and then we have Ch- oh, chelsea and jimmy i need to give them a little time here um, let me let me drink some tea before we no no because, excuse let me because i need a lot of for this <laughs> Chelsea, oh my, my God. God, what is wrong with you, baby? You have this guy, Jimmy. I mean, you say he's attractive, okay? That's that's your business. That's your prerogative. You're attracted to him. He is treating you nicely. He says he loves you. Where's problem? <laughs> Here's problem. You don't tell me you love me enough. You don't kiss me enough. And I'm just like, she's gonna cry every time she says this too. And cries. She meets up with her friends talking about he doesn't kiss me all day, guys. What? And then he comes and he's like, but I kiss but you. I kiss more you kiss. Like this today. He's like, no, but like, but it's like, it's not like, it's not enough, type of thing. And he's like, and the whole time this Jimmy confused as hell. Like, I feel like she just needed a blanket. Just <laughs> give her nothing to wrap herself so she could feel it's something okay, on her. It's like, okay. Don't. What? Like, it's I'm confused. What? Like he every time they have a big argument over this, you didn't kiss me type thing you're not being loving enough and it goes from you didn't kiss me today to well you know you're too clingy and oof, what did you say that for because 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 i mean she 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 was clingy like, yeah because she was because that set off the fireworks so she's like i'm clingy that is rude yeah that is so rude and and he and then he basically said also that he didn't really want to have sex with her too <laughs> Jimmy was get, throwing out zingers. I'm sorry. He's like, yeah, maybe I was kind of forced into that as well. I was just like, Jimmy. So here's the thing with Chelsea. Can we here write therapy in big red letters? Like just <laughs> I can't, we cannot. I know. I'm just saying. Imagine therapy written in red, bright red, like blinking. Like she this. needs. She doesn't. She needs. Yes. I told. A clinical doctor, not a therapist, oh, okay. and a was... psychologist, a psychotherapist, somebody with a doctorate degree. I like, know these people. I know these people watched this show and they were like, "Ooh, nice case study." And like, I know. I'm sorry. And just, I, I, I just want you to be loved. I want you to thrive. I want you to be okay. I because right you now, know. you cannot be in no relationship. No, 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 none. No, no. Because this man, he was trying, and actually. 
did kind of nothing wrong. You were pushing, like basically Chelsea was pushing him away and pushing him away and pushing him and away. Well, she was, the she was trying to keep him so close that she was pushing him no, away. No, she literally self-sabotaged. And, like, and I was just watching the most, so for a while I thought it was disorganized attachment style, but she literally, she has the most anxious attachment style that I've seen in a long period of time and on top of that she also has ptsd from previous relationships mm -hmm. clearly mm -hmm. clearly she's like again ptsd might not be the right term to use but this people is, have done know, her wrong yeah, yeah like she she does have some trauma that she clearly needs to work through and there's a moment where jimmy goes to a birthday party so after work he goes to a birthday party for an hour and a half i need, I need wait to first i just want you to talk about they she also keep this she met his friends he has a lot of female friends. Well, all we met were female friends. We didn't meet any guy friends. Cause, but he did mention that. But he we did. We did. He didn't mention he had so female yeah. friends. So then she goes so to yeah. a party to celebrate somebody's child. He went to a party to his friends' birthday party. As I mean, everybody has friends. Probably a female. And he left for an hour and a half after work. So basically, after work, he went there and then came back home. It's not like he stayed overnight like somebody else on that show. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And she was just like, "Where were you?" Why do I keep the, taking this voice to, to speak? It's just because he's so annoying. Like she's like, where were you? And it's like, well, I went to my friend's birthday. And he's very straightforward with it. I went to my friend's birthday party. I stayed there for an hour and a half. And she's like, well, you were with whatever her name Jessica. is. Jessica. Je which, no, um, yeah, what is the name of her of his friend? That one friend that he... I don't know his friend. Though. Okay, anyways. You and she the, said, you didn't take me? Like, do you go without your girl? Yeah. And you're having drinks? And she's like, somebody texted me from the cast. Somebody like, texted me like, your man is outside. And where, and where, where are, are you? you? Do you know how I feel? And also, mind you, he asked her if she wanted to go. And now she's mad that she didn't go. And also, it's like, can your man have a life outside of you? Is, she, is that okay? And he, it's like... And again, we have to reiterate, he was gone for an hour and a half. But this is including driving time. And not late at night. We're talking about after work. It's like, and she flipped. She had a complete blow up. And she's like, if this is the type of guy you are, are you the type of guy that likes to go out? Because that's, 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 that's not what you told me. That's not what you told me to the cause. You're like, lying now. And it's like, you're not. He's like, I said sometimes I'll like, go get a drink. But I like literally was gone for a tiny about an hour. Your friend who you have had sex with. And then he gets mad, rightfully so. He gets mad because he's like, I told you that in confidence. Yes. I told you that in confidence and I told you that outside of the cameras. Yeah. He did not want this mentioned on camera because that's his friend. And he, like, he was trying to protect her and her, which and I also himself too, because then himself, like, yeah. you know what I mean? But, but I, I really think, like he said, well, he says he didn't really care about himself. It was more about, you know, her I and if it. she's with somebody or whatever. But the thing is, and here's where I gave Chelsea a little bit, and I know Emmy disagrees because we have disagreed on this thing. Me, I could definitely understand and see myself not being comfortable with my man being friends with somebody he's slept with before. Especially a very close friend. It's, um, comfortable to me. You know, she's seen your, she's seen your goods. She's seen your face during your our moments it's the fact that you really think people remember that some okay. people remember maybe you do future said it again i'll say if and if i hit you once you're part of my collection also future don't remember how future don't remember but thing. guess what I, I know i know men would be insecure if they knew their girls level future and and, and, <laughs> and it was in the it, you know so again i i can understand her not liking that but if the person hasn't given you yet a reason to not trust it, I feel like you just have to accept it. If, if it starts getting to like, okay, like, you know, they're spending nights alone and, you know, you know they're, they're having intimate face-to-face -face conversations and one is literally inches away and you're like, why, what's going on type of thing. It looks very, you know, but if they haven't given you a reason to suspect anything, I feel like you just, you know, you got to tough it out. It's like, also... My thing is, so to what Nikki said, for me, it's like, well, especially in a group's friend, I don't know if it was in a group of friends, but sometimes things like that happen and it's just like, it, it's fine. It, especially like you said, if there's a point in time where it's been done, is the past maybe it happened once. For, mm -hmm. In this case, I think he said it happened once. It happened once, yeah. And they're friends now. And like you said, she has no reason to believe that there's anything Yeah, if there's more. nothing, yeah. But my, my issue is really... Uh, and I feel like a lot of men have brought it up on multiple podcasts and other platforms that 
a lot of the times why men, a lot of men don't want to open up sometimes to women is because they be they they be saying things in confidence and then you use it that was horrible to throw it in their face what and chelsea did was appalling for me what made it worse is this is a it used to be national it's not national this is an it's international an show so the world will now know who because people will find her people i mean will he, find he her only friend. had like three exactly there. so it's one out so of three. it's like now and you know how people are mean people will go ahead people will just text you and dm you for no damn reason so people might be in her dms telling her all sorts of crazy things just because of that one interaction and that one thing that chelsea told him because she was feeling away and again she's not feeling away because the friend did anything with jimmy she's feeling away because she feels inadequate and she has insecurities and she's not projecting onto him because he went to a birthday party for an hour and 30 minutes and somebody texted her was like oh jimmy was that i saw jimmy but you weren't there where were you and the person i'm sure wasn't saying that to be like that's crazy that you're not with your man it was more so like oh my god like i saw him i didn't see you type vibe i'm pretty sure it was just that so is this that's what annoyed me with her that added to everything else she's been doing and how she's been antagonizing him and what she, like she's literally looking for an issue with him because i feel like her brain is used to having issues with men and basically her brain wants to run towards something that she knows and control because she can deal with that and I feel like she doesn't know how to deal with somebody that is trying to be healthy. She her. likes the toxicity. She needs so, the the, the yeah. turmoil. You know, she and, and for her, which is why it was okay for her to still believe that she would, was going to get married even after all that. Because this is her, that's her normal setting for a relationship. And I was absolutely, like I said, the only thing I gave her was understanding being a little upset with or being a little uncomfortable not even upset but the whole why are you going out the whole disregarding his complete feelings and something that was asked in confidence off camera it just a, a lot of it showed what kind of and, and this was not their first fight mm -mm. you know they had a free, initiated by her every single time and each of the, the three scenarios we we spoke of real life honeymoon pods like they've had fights you know what i mean so it's just like i don't um I, I don't con condone her behavior at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think she, and I, and I, it's not even a bashing thing. I think she, lady needs help. I think she needs to figure out where these issues are coming from and get to the root of them. Now, we have to, we're gonna mosey along a little bit. We go to the, they're choosing dresses now. Okay, so. Where, where three are choosing dresses. Three yeah. women choose dresses. So, like Chelsea, it's, AD, and Amy. Um, Amy. It's not even, we're not gonna talk about that for long. It's just, I was having, obviously when I watch these shows, usually I either text Nikki or I text another friend of mine that watches them. And one of the first things my other friend mentioned, and she was like, obviously they're going to give AD the like bodycon dress. Watch. But she chose it. I'm not saying that she didn't choose it. I'm just saying, watch them yeah, put everything did. on her. And, and that's one of the things where, you know, I know like she, she was saying like pretty much like she went on this because she wanted to be seen as a person and not for her body or anything like that and I get it. But throughout the show, I just want to remind the viewers that could consistently both her and clay have really made it a big deal about appearances yeah. even though they want to pretend like eh, oh, okay, all she that. mentioned they about clay was that he was fine i don't even know if she really liked him they care about it so yeah pretty much i mean her dress was i mean eight that, that just was, was, that she makes dress every dress was look good, good. Um, but and the also, men also went to choose suits and they yeah. brought friends they brought friends also, before we talk about the man, shout out to AD's niece. That was very cute. Oh, she was so Because when the, the person was like, oh, you're going to get a dress too? She's like, yeah, I'm like, oh, you're cute. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I like to see children involved in this type of things. This is cute. But yeah, the man brought friends. And Clay's friends are mwah. Mm, chef's kiss. Well, shout out. I mean, if y'all ain't, you know. Hey, if you ain't seen my tweets. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, Clay's friends are fine. Uh, I know they both have the same name. I forgot which name. Do they? They, they both have the same name. That's hilarious. But um, the one, the both of them are fine. But one of them, the thicker one, mm. Mm, is a lot. Mm. All right. But yeah, but and, pretty much. Sorry. I guess we need to fast forward to the episode of the wedding. Yeah, so the, the finale episode is the wedding episode. And yeah. we start off with a scene of Chelsea and Jimmy. Um, Jimmy asking... <laughs> I just want to say, Jimmy has the funniest way of asking questions. Or, or saying things. Because he also says something like, during that fight where he went out, he was like, you want me to take a step back from my friends? He's like, and, and she's like, yeah, well, I'm not taking a step back. I was like, then why did you... No, cause, cause, cause I'm gonna, cause you're trying to be like this. Yeah, then. but but it was fun. It's just funny the way he, he asked, and he, he did the same also thing. He ate. 
Uh, he, he, oh, he keeps eating her up. Like, literally, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, mm -hmm. Then, in this scene, he's like, yeah, so basically, like, you never told me, like, how you feel, like, what are you leading towards, basically? Like, you yeah. haven't told me what you're going to say. Because he just said, me, I'm good. Like, we can, <laughs> let's do this. I mean, in his head, he was like, you're crazy, but let's do this. And I was like, why would you say that? Yeah, I, I, you, I don't know. So she basically, you know, she kind of hesitates and basically is saying that, you know, like, she would go to the altar. And he's like, you know, for me, at this point, I'm not going to the altar. And she was like, what the fuck? And, and I was like, wow, God finally touched I, I was so happy he stood up for himself. Because I was like, man, you cannot marry this woman. She will she will make she's you like hell. Miserable. Mm. And she was perplexed. She's, she starts the begging. She starts the gaslighting. Not she's, her being surprised. She was ice creamed. Ice creamed. Astonished. Ice creamed. <laughs> Astonished. I'm like, ma'am, how cream. could you be surprised that he doesn't want to marry you? Like, after none, this, none of this has gone well. And she at first she's... <laughs> She's like, after one argument, after one argument, like, you're ready to not get married. It's, it's like more things than that. <laughs> and you violated my trust. He's yep. like, he's like, it's a bunch of things, really. Um, I think you're a great person, but I'm not going to marry you. And when she started gaslighting him, I was like, oh, girl, you need, like, yeah, you said, you need somebody with a PhD. <laughs> Don't go to a rec like don't go to a, like a there like a counselor. Don't, don't go, go to, to a, a doctor. doctor. Go Somebody to a doctor. Do art. Do art. I'm doctor. Sorry. Okay. Um, it was it was embar <sighs> it was embarrassing for her because I had I just, was it I got secondhand embarrassment because oh. she really seemed surprised like I was like she was really like oh my god like we're not gonna get married like what the oh. hell like. You know, like, I feel like you knew this from the... No, he was truly trying. You did this to yourself. And you see me laughing, and it's not that I hate the girl. I don't laugh because she's laughable. That's not why I'm laughing. I, I really do. I feel for her in a way because I'm like, you can clearly tell that she's not somebody, like Nikki said, that should be in any form of relationships before she repairs whatever needs to be repaired within her. Um, she clearly needs to do some work. And it was just very... It's kind of, like, painful to witness that in real like on tv not scripted yeah because it's just like i don't know who you were dealing with before i don't know who you were dealing with your whole life i don't know what happened but you clearly need some help and the way you're interacting with this man and i hope when she rewatched the episodes she understood what was wrong about certain retractions obviously we don't see everything because they're not filming them 24 7 and we don't see all these images but i just feel like yeah she really needs to do some work but outside of that i was very happy she moves out of this okay yeah, like, this is a victory for mankind don't, like, have, don't take Ooh. me through this pain um uh and then we go to the weddings the quick the quick wedding that we knew everybody knew the answer amy and johnny they arrived they're happy families are happy Johnny's sister is a part of Amy's bridal party. It's like that's beautiful. I love the families. I love their families. They seem very supportive. Mm -hmm. uh, like Emmy was saying earlier, um, her dad gave a great speech oh. at the wedding, um, and he was just that's like, so he's like, I have a son now. Like you could, it was like he was. It was embracing. It was embracing them. Uh, it was lovely. I loved seeing Amy's brother and Johnny's brother together. Um, obviously they said yes they both said yes and they, they is married now um but yeah the, no I, I again just want to talk about the dad I'm, i won't even say more mm -hmm. than what nikki said but it's just it was just beautiful to see because it's like doing this kind of things um your family don't have to be on your side your family could be like you are crazy i'm not putting my life on tv like seriously my I'm family would definitely be confused i thought about my dad i was like you know where my dad put on the show Ever. I mean, they might eventually come around, but they no. would be highly... They would not be on the show. They <laughs> might come around later on, as the cameras do not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but no, it's, like, it's one of those things where I was, I was thinking about it. I was like, I mean, not all immigrant families are the same, but I do know that there are certain things that we do and don't do. Uh, there are certain ways that you portray yourself and don't portray yourself. And there are certain things that, you know, we wouldn't, I mean... I'm talking for my family at least we wouldn't put out uh, for the world to see on a display mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah it was I, I guess it was just very beautiful for me uh to see that I, was was I thought about my dad and I was like oh what she what he said about her and I think at some point he was like when I looked at how he looked at her mm -hmm. that's why that's I gave I, my blessing because he said he was he was 
it was iffy at first. Yeah. You know, I didn't know about this process. I was confused. But then I saw him and I saw how he looked at her. I was like, okay, yeah, I see it. And yeah. he saw that she was happy. Exactly. And that was, and I think that that's very important for so parents to always remember what makes your child happy. Um, I, I want, I, I wish them luck. I hope Amy and Johnny last, you know, even though I've been saying, you know, they're kind of boring. I didn't, I don't, I don't get spice from them, but I hope they last too. Maybe they, time. hopefully they last, you know, they, they're cute. They're definitely cute together though. I'll say that. Um, yeah, like, I mean, they don't look wise. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like they don't need to be interesting for it to last. Cause that, cause at for least sure. to us. For sure. Cause it, it's really, they look really happy. Yeah. And look really lovely. They're, he's um, very corny. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. So, uh, I mean. Hey, and then the I moment, hope y'all are still together by the time the reunion. Yo, ends. for real, like I was well, <laughs> probably <know>. pregnant. <laughs> His worst nightmare. Um, uh, yo. Then we get to the moment everybody was here to see. We see the wedding day of Ad and Clay. Oh, Clay. Um, <laughs> can I start by saying something? What? Can I get it out of the way so I don't have to talk it. about it after? Get it. If I'm getting married and somebody fucks up my lashes like this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me start over. Well, let me okay. start over. Okay. Let me start over. I just, I just wanted to, I just wanted to, so I don't want to talk about it anymore. Because I was baffled. Especially when they zoomed in on her face <laughs> at some point. Somebody on TikTok put a, they press pause on the thing and there's a lash that's like, and AD, I don't know who did that to you, but mm, 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 mm. Well, that's it. They get there and we just knew this was a mess because here's why I do. we meet Clay's dad for the first time and just by the way he was talking I was like I know what I'm getting here I know what, I know what this is I see Clay Clay I see you I understand okay the dad was speaking and I was like mm. at first well, for a little minute I was like what is he saying <laughs> he talks in circles a lot and I could see how he was trying to how he used to finesse Mrs. Clay's mom back in the day and the other. Okay? ladies and the other ladies okay um and he basically gives his son like uh a lot of encouragement and you know telling him to go with his heart and all the blah 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 um they get to the wedding day should be noted that clay the whole time is saying coded messages um at the bachelorette at the bachelor party he was saying coded messages you know i can see myself with ad kind of maybe sort of um married husband yeah i guess you know <laughs> like it was like giving a lot of uncertainty and then they get to the altar and for a split second i started thinking as they were talking to each other i thought maybe maybe he's gonna say yes maybe. i mean so here's the thing before we get into that i just yeah. also want to shout out ad's mother um, when you know she came back and she oh yeah, she was getting ready. Yes. She's like, I met somebody, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and apparently, well, she had a beautiful encounter with Clay's, Clay's mom. mom. I could see them getting along based on how they were talking. They're the to same their caliber children. of women. Yeah, I like very, they, you know, they've been through life. There are certain things that they've learned. They're trying to teach their children without, you know, telling them what to do, but just trying to say, hey, here's some knowledge. Like if you want to here's what it. I know. Like yeah, exactly. If you want to take it, you know, go ahead and take it and. Um, yeah, it was, and she also gave Ad uh, a beautiful necklace mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that her grandmother was wearing when she got married, I believe. Yeah, and which I thought that she'll be there in spirit. Which which, which I thought was one of the cute like it's some really significant things. I feel like you know um, there was a lot of cute moments, it was, and, it was I, and I like seeing one thing I will say is I like seeing Clay discuss with his parents you could just feel the growth in him even with his friends when he was talking mm -hmm. you could just see that he's understood some things at least about himself i don't know about relationships but at least about himself which, which is good uh, which is good which is um good. And, no i just had a okay moment yep uh, okay and <laughs> so yeah so when we're back at the altar he says okay body um so here's the thing so now we get to the part where the vows have to be said and so he starts and all I'm hearing is, yeah, so I like how you work, you, you were rocking with me and how you like, you know, supported me and like basically you're my cheerleader. That's what I heard. Like, oh my God, you doing Clay things loves too. that AD loves him. Basically. Yeah. That, that's, that's what I heard. Yeah. And then AD actually gave vows. You know, like, yeah. The, the contrast. Because I, I was listening to this man speak and I was like, ain't no way. 
way you're st you're standing there and this is what you're saying. I was like, I, I feel like at this point it's so embarrassing to just go all the way to the author to say no. Like I feel like people should should pull a Jenny. Like I feel like it was okay season one. If you yeah, because at this point it's just cringy. Like if you know you're not gonna say yes. Just let's just get this over with before because it's so awkward doing it. Especially when you didn't tell the part. If both of y'all agreed, we're not saying yes yeah. at the altar, but we're willing to work on it afterwards or let's call it quits, then at least I'm not surprised. Right. But she was, she did, she hit them with a what the fuck. Because he really Immediate. said, because here's what he said. He didn't say no. He said, I think that would be irresponsible for, for me, me to, to say, say yes right now. Moment, and yeah. I was like, wow. Because she said, I, she gave her I do real quick. She said, I do. He hesitated. He didn't say it, and she was completely thrown off. I loved, however, her family and her friends' when support. When she was just like, like everybody was like, they dead. just knew her mom was there for you. Okay, baby, you're you're okay. And Clay's mom is a class act. As she, before she leaves, she hugs Ad. You know, I'm sorry. Like she was like, I respect you as a person. You know, you're I'm and I'm and comforting her, which I was appreciative of. She goes back stage or back to, not stage, but back to the little house that they're at and she's crying and she's upset with she's telling her friend like she feels like her time was wasted she feels like she's never chosen um which hurt to hear because yeah i heard a, that and i was like Damn. a lot of yeah a lot and I, I think a lot of black women feel this Bills. way like why is it not you know why, why can't it not me yeah and, and i and i felt her for that and she really did i don't know why but she really did believe in clay yeah. so you know, and she let herself fall into the fantasy. Then this man comes back after talking to his dad. His dad said, yeah, you should go back there. And he goes back there and gaslights her. Like, what was that? Like, are we, you you really can't be this surprised. Like, you know, because like, is anything I'm saying resonating with you? Because like, I'm, I'm still rocking with you. Like, you know, like, and he's kissing her and she's kissing him back. And I guess he's trying to say he still wants to be with her, but he's not ready for marriage. He's like, you wouldn't have wanted me to say yes if I'm not ready. And she's Facts. crying, which is well, also fine. Nice. But also we had had no discussion about this. So why are you blinding yeah. me like this? For but, me, it's what she said. Because she's very, she knows. Yeah. Because she said, I feel like you used me to get better. Mm -hmm. she, said I was sac she said I was, I was a sacrifice, sacrifice I was for like, you to get better. And I will just say this. You know I believe in astrology and all of that, right? Yeah. I will just say this. There, she's a Scorpio. There's a thing that has been going around that pretty much says that a lot of the time Scorpios come into people's lives to like teach them something about themselves. And usually if, you know, we just appear, do what it is that we do for you, and the thing just ends. Whatever it is, friendship romantically and stuff like that and that's that was my moment earlier where i was just like i remembered when she was like i feel like i was a sacrifice for you to become to actually realize certain yeah, things about that yourself that was a beautiful thing because that true. she she's because very aware but she decided to be like you know what i'm gonna trust this process i i feel like that's what she went for she was like i'm gonna trust this process and see if i can like see it through i'm just gonna i'm gonna do the whole thing and maybe maybe this time Maybe by doing this, maybe this time I will be chosen. Maybe. Maybe. I feel like that's how she I went about it. Because also he didn't give, I feel like he didn't give no warnings. Well, he did give warning signs. But oh, he like gave. She, she didn't see. All of the flags. She, I, didn't she hear just them. saw what she wanted to see. But then he because was, he regardless said, of him yeah. not telling her explicitly, yeah. I'm not choosing you, he told her he but, wasn't choosing But also, her. so here's also the thing. And that's just me personally. I know that she said that if he's not marrying her then she's done, she doesn't want to be with him. And this is where me personally, again, everybody has their own opinion and their own choices. Me personally, I disagree. It's like the, humil the humiliation of, I don't know how to pronounce that word, but anyways. Yeah. That, the, that moment, obviously you can't take that back from somebody. It was on TV, it was in front of their, her family. It's, you can't well, take it back. Well, that's why I wouldn't date him. But the thing is, it's like, if he had done it differently, I would have been okay. But that, that's what I'm saying. But I'm like, for me personally, at least, I'm not saying that specific situation, but like you said, maybe if you had, the, if, he, if before it was like, you know what, I don't think I'm, I'm going to be able to say yes, but I do want to continue something Bring me in you. on this. Show me I that we're a partnership. Exactly. It's like, if he had said, I want to continue dating you with the, like, at some point, because he, he, he even said, what is it with the timeline that doesn't, that is not good with you? Because I'm telling you, I want to be yeah, with you. Yeah, but we can't do that in front of <laughs> you. You were mad. You were mad. We can't do that in front of everybody, yeah, like my, my family's here, my family. Oh, what's wrong with the time? We didn't okay, discuss on the I also want to say, I saw a TikTok 
Um, and she was in the TikTok with him and her. And yeah, so that's what so. I was about to say. So I mean, in the, in the apparently the you know we've been talking about outside rumors. Uh, we talked about you know Jeremy's extra wife. I don't know whatever. And there's other rumors that apparently AB and Claire are still together. We'll see at the reunion. So, but so you know we'll see. But the thing is, was... so he says that and then but she ends up like telling the cameras, I'm you know I don't see myself dating him. I'm not dating him. Whatever you know, if you don't choose me, I'm not gonna beg you. Da, da, but, da. but that's also and, the thing. It's like I just want I just I just want us to revisit the word choose. And the whole, if you don't choose me. Because him saying, and I'm not just specifically talking about this situation because that's the situation we're talking about. But it's just him saying, I don't want to marry you now. As of now, to tweet, like right now, in this context, I don't want to marry you now. And also, he did mention, of, well, to the camera at some point, he didn't have information on it, on her finances. There's some things that he, he still needed to figure out. Oh, hey, that, whatever it is. It is what it is. A marriage is also... Clay, Clay no, is a marriage is also Let me tell you, Clay no, is I'm, I'm just saying, you don't want to be with her. But my thing and is, can I... I'm sorry. Now I forgot what I was going to say. Jesus, I my brain. You were saying... What's my brain? Like this? No, no, you... What's my brain? Be like what? that. You were talking about how the choose me forgot. thing is it's the choose. No, yeah, that... <laughs> it's the choose. That's what you were talking about. No, it's just, it's just, um, it's just this one thing where I'm like... Just side note, sidebar. There's this whole obsession with marriage, I feel, for a lot of people. Um, and I feel like we we talked about this. I feel like she wanted the marriage so bad. Well, she wanted the wedding. She wanted she wanted that so bad. And I feel like that's what it is to be chosen for her in that yeah, specific, she wanted that's that specific thing. And, it, and well, it's somebody like, committing to her. Somebody committing to her. But I feel like me personally, again, there's other ways to commit that doesn't have to be a marriage right away. It could be a marriage in a year. It could be a marriage in six months. Right now, I can't give you a marriage, but I can give you a marriage in six months. I can give you a marriage in a year. If let's say to the reunion, they pull up and they're like, yeah, we're still together. We're working on it. I, I had to forgive him or whatever. It's just like, and if they do get married, in the future i'm not sure if they will because remember i told you i strongly believed that they were here for the followers nobody that has dated afterwards on love is blind ended up together jo case in point joss and jackie so, no that, but no that was a bad um, oh no that was a bad example <laughs> that saying, was a they, they wow like i'm sorry um what's his name jacqueline um, sk and uh, raven as well um uh, all the ones that be trying to date afterwards they never really work out um, yeah I'm just saying, it's just, it just, but my I'm thing is, Clay it, is stuck. My, my in, in this situation specifically, I just feel like Clay, he wants to maybe keep seeing her. He has no intentions of getting married or, or any of that. Um, and I, before I close out, we close out, excuse me, um, I wanted to discuss his parents real quick because his parents had a conversation that I loved um outside where you know his mom was saying clay's mom he was like you know like listen he's working through a lot of things right now like he, he still has trauma he sees him like you and him he sees you and him and you know he saw a lot of things that he had to take on and she's like i just learned some things about the infidelity too you know so it's like damn you know like these are things that you have to talk to him you gotta apologize to him for and you know he you the know way she was like i already told you i forgave you yeah. like, basically she was like it's not about me it's about him you need to go fix your son yeah you need it. to go and talk to your son for real and not not that that thing you gave him before you got married you need to talk to him for real and be like yeah and apologize cheated. for yeah, what you did yeah i cheated on your mom and i brought you with me and that was wrong of me you should this is not how you should be treating somebody and what i what i liked about the interaction between marriage the marriage is not lies and deceit i mean yeah it's not I feel like a lot of people they need to give classes to some people but I'm just I'm just saying I love that interaction between his parents because it was just like like the dad started breaking down when he was like you know like I didn't have my dad around so you could tell like this is a broken a brokenness that comes that comes from you know a long time and you know like I feel like millennials slash zillennials are like trying to repair and trying to not be the people that you know Mm -hmm. that we were bred that to be. we were bred to be and i feel like this is very painful very tiring very difficult uh so it was very interesting to see that that uh interaction between his parents it was beautiful uh in the way it was done his mom it. is he was like the dad was like yeah she grace. needs to get some somebody like his mama you know like and she's like you had somebody like me and you didn't treat me well and i was like well she ate that she Grace, I just I loved it. I loved it. The so parents this season, great parents, exquisite. great parents, great. Exquisite. No, no parents annoyed me really. 
Nope. Um, and that's and that's really that was Love Is Blind season six. Like you guys know what time it is. We gotta talk. We gotta tell y'all who the real villain is. And for me, should I go first? Yeah, you can go. Oh. So for me, show villain. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, let's say show villain Clay. He's getting a lot of hate online. Okay. Real villain Chelsea. Chelsea is the villain of this season, of last season, of next season. She's the villain. <laughs> she's she's just a villain. Okay, I'm sorry. Here, go. Okay, so the real villain. Okay, show villain for me. The show villain was Jeremy. Uh, with an A. Yeah, Jeremy with an A. I feel like I want to pronounce it differently. Just Jeremy. It's Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> but Jeremy uh, was the show villain because I mean, in it, the internet was like. They didn't like him. They, they didn't like him. They liked Laura. They didn't, you know, they for some reason. They they, yeah, they liked Laura. They liked Laura. They liked Laura. I mean, because she was the damsel, not the damsel in distress, but she was the one that was done wrong or whatever. Also, you know? he was he was just, I guess, the whole stuff that came out with the ad. Exactly. So Jeremy is the show villain, but the real villain for me is same is Chelsea. Because no, baby, no. no, baby, just no. Just no. I do want to give a special mention. I want to add this for the specific thing. The sidekick of the villain. Because, you know, villains be having sidekicks sometimes. The sidekick of the villain goes to Laura. Because uh, I feel like... <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. I feel like because of the whole situation with Jeremy, people took her side real quick. But I feel like a lot failed to see what she was, you know, who she was who being. She was actually. And how she was acting. And I feel like that shouldn't... I mean, I didn't like it. I'm not saying what Jeremy did was right. I'm just saying I didn't like how she was acting towards him either. So, yeah, she's the sidekick. I hear that. I hear that. That's my, you know. All right, guys. That was Love is Blind season six. What a season. We're going to be back for the reunion, though. Um, in the meantime, you know, we have our names here. And you follow us and, and stuff and, and come back and, uh, and uh, chat with us. But share and like this video. It's important. Should we review the Habibi? Love is blind. <laughs> hey, what a, I'm down because love is blind is the best in general. So I, I, I will do it. Let us know what else you guys want us to uh, review or have a Real Housewives of Potomac season review coming up as well. So yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.